Good morning. This is this is Mary at the Mary TA, and today is Thursday, April 29th. It's bright and early in the morning. Welcome to my desk. Do, 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 do. Welcome to my desk. Oh, who's awake? Who's awake? Let's have some coffee. That's a good way to start out the morning. Today is going to be an exciting day. Hi, Arlene. Good morning. Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Today is going to be an exciting day. I get to meet Tanya. Tanya and her husband are coming through Nebraska on their way home. And uh, we're just going to meet for lunch. Yay! <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Well, not kind of. I am excited to meet them. <coughs> Hi, Ton uh, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning, Arlene. However, my car is stuffed. And I mean literally stuffed up to the ceiling with mulch. Um, that, red, that redwood mulch. Uh, I got it the day before yesterday, and I couldn't unload it yesterday because it rained. It rained. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'll probably do a little shopping, but not much. Uh, we're just going to meet for lunch. And uh, I need to go to Menards. I'll probably go to Goodwill, drop in at Hobby Lobby. I might go to the home goods store and just look around. Just browse. Ah. I would buy, buy more flowers. I don't know if I can get any more in the I have a spot I have a spot in my back seat where I might be able to fit some more flowers. I just might be able to. Do, 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 do. Well, I have some um, happy mail. It's the auction hall. Uh, Lori, Pink Girly, had a stamp sale. And I just caught a part of it, but it was a happy part. Look at this envelope. Maybe I'll put this in my art journal, too. I caught a part of it. And I bought some stamps from her. So let's see what they are. Bless her heart. This is a nice envelope. Nice padded envelope. Let's cut it. Can I get that? Sometimes I can get these labels off. Let me see if I can get my finger under there, under the tape, and pull the label off. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. We'll keep you in suspense about the stamps. Hi, Mitzi. Good morning. Oh, look, I'm getting it off. Yay. Oh, I'm so thankful she didn't glue it down. Oh, this comes off nice. She must have known that. Yeah, Mary will take the envelope and, and use it in our art journaling. We'll save it for the address. I actually got two pieces of Happy Mail sent off yesterday. Well, the swap. That counts as one piece. The ATCs for Beth Schuler. I got them mailed off to the post office yesterday. And I sent them priority. So she should get those by May 1st. If the post office does their job. And uh, then Janice, she already knows. I told her in, in Becky's chat last night that... 
I, I mailed off Janice's paper towels. <laughs> I felt so silly mailing paper towels. I said, you got a padded envelope coming. Ooh, this is kind of neat this way. I'm going to tear it that way anyway. That. That's kind of cool. Ooh, this would make pretty washi tape. Let's see if I can get... We'll play with the stamps in a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm the child who opened and played with boxes. The box, the box is more fun than the gift. The box is more interesting than the gift. Let's see if I can get the bubble wrap off. It'd make pretty. Could I have padded washi tape? It'd be pretty thick. Hi, Tim. Or T, I'm not, sorry. It's not Tim, it's Tia. I looked at my laptop a block away. I just saw the T.I. Good morning, Tia. <laughs> Yesterday, I called somebody an island. Today, I called you Tim. Oh, no. Mary, shape up. I just saw the T.I. And I go, who's Tim? Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. No, I gotta get that mulch down this weekend. That's my goal. I might get a few more plants. I really wasn't gonna do my porch plants. What I'll probably do when I go to Menards is uh, buy some of those moss liners for my porch planters. There we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's play with the, the package first. You've been up for two hours. Insomnia. Well, I did get some sleep last night. Except for I didn't go to bed till late. You know how that goes. I watched Becky after, after I talked to Tanya. I watched Becky. And I was pretty tired then. All this running around, and I ran around yesterday. <sighs> going to the library and going to the post office and just that different stuff. There we go. Ooh, that's cool. And then I have this to play with. Of course, we're not going to throw that good bubble wrap away. No, no, no. Ah, oh, thank you, Tia. Thank you for being so understanding. Shall we open the stamps? I just got a few. Ah, oh, she puts, she put a little thank you in there. That'll go in my journal. Let's open the. It's got a, a washi, a pretty washi. She works this stuff up real nice. I have her Edith Holden book that I'm recording it says thank you I'll put that in my journal and this is just a tissue looks like a pattern tissue let's save this of course we'll save the washi we'll probably save the tissue too <laughs> stamp is a, a sales receipt Ooh, that's cool. We'll stamp that out. And then this stamp. Oops, I tore it. I can't get a hold of it.
Yeah, the sale. I don't know if you guys can see it's a sales receipt. Yeah, I think you can. Perfect. So Becky is going to open, you have to be in her group. Uh, if you're in Vinsville, I think that um, they'll be in the Vinsville chat room later on this morning. I don't know what time, but Becky was saying that they usually meet on Thursdays. In the Fibsville and on Fridays in Becky's room. If you're so interested. Look, it says thanks so much. Little thank you stamp. And this is a little ticket with an owl that says always. Always. Ah. And here, let's stamp these out. And then I'll finish what I was doing with that. Oh, let's stamp it on here. Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll stamp these out. Let's put a piece of white paper on the underneath. White paper, please. I need to take care of these paper scraps over here. And let's get some ink out. I looked at the Hobby Lobby since I knew I was going to be up that way today. I looked at the Hobby Lobby ad, weekly ad, and Tim Holtz is on sale this week. I'll probably drop by that aisle. There's not much I want. I thought I'd look at the ribbons and tapes. And see what was interesting. I don't think they're on sale this week. Yarns are on sale. I might see if they got any tape yarn. I'm sure they do. I probably should replenish that pad. But let's see how it stamps. Whoops. We'll just leave it where I dropped it. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning. Mitzi says, Gosh, I can't. My lighting is bad. First, I have some of those. I can't read. Oh, those uh, stickers that Becky made. I have some of those rooms that Becky mentioned. Yeah. If you're in Fibsville, you'll see the room uh, on my mobile. It shows right at the top of my feed. So if you're on a laptop or a, a desktop, I'm sure it'll be up toward the top of your browser feed. Toward the menu. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, I love it. I love that. It stamped out nice. Let's do the owl. I should have gotten more. I, uh, there was a library card that I gifted to, uh, Journey. Sometimes I don't get what I what I vote for, but I did this time, but I noticed that Journey wanted it too, so Journey has sent me so many nice things. I'm going, let's just let Journey have it. Oh, I think I'll put this one as a border stamp down in my journal. Little owl that says, 
always, always, instead of always, always, it's always, always. And this one says, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Aww. Now that I'm stamping, let's reach over here and get this dragonfly. Let's put this dragonfly that I have on it. I'm going to have to dig out my stamps. And play with them. I've got the. If my brother go and my nephew go fishing Friday, I think I'm going to spend the greater part of Friday working in this room. Cool. Let's do another. You get a new toy. You get a new toy. You've got to play with it. It's like Christmas here. That one's... I guess that is ink on there. Ink spot on there. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. So I went to the library yesterday. I got my brother six books and me one. <laughs> he likes those mystery books. Those are those are something he'll read. So I don't mind going and getting them. He seems to enjoy reading those mystery books. I got him a new author. I think some of those mystery stories are weird. <laughs> I don't I don't enjoy the language in some of those books. I'm going, how can you read that crap? <laughs> some of them are pretty good. The 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 ones that he was reading, then some of them are are have weird you know, weird ways that they Commit a crime. <laughs> I'm going, don't get any ideas from that book. Yeah, my brother's a good guy. Let's see. Maybe this thank you stamp again down here. We'll have to get my um, pattern tissue out and some stamps and create a whole bunch of... That'll go in my journal. Let's get to... Where did I have it out here? Well, I'm not going to hunt for it. Uh, all right, let's put these... Let's just put them up here for now till I find a spot for them. And, of course, when I was at the library, I got free magazines. Let's make some washi out of this. Maybe I'll, when I'm at the Menards today, I'll, this is vinyl tape. This might work good on this plastic. Um, maybe I'll get some more tape today. Too. It is flower planting season here, and it's supposed to really be really nice this weekend, so that is what I will be doing. I think I'm going to start some potted plant, some... Uh, seedlings which i should have started in april but you know it's kind of in the house here we really don't have much room to do all that 
I could t just take the room, but does that pull up? It will. Let's just pull it up. It's not straight. Get it right next to this one. Oh, it's got a little gunk on it. I might go, they've got a little Habitat for Humanity store, resale store, which is mostly, you know, sinks and cabinets and tiles and stuff like that. But sometimes they have some cool stuff in there. I might go and see if they got anything art that I can use. I like to stop in that store every now and then and, and, uh, we don't have one local. I have to go there if I want to go. No, this isn't straight either. Maybe I'll start on this side. Got a little warpy in it. There we go. Yeah. Lori, there's Lori Loves Montana. Good morning. I've been thinking about you. I'm, I'm getting into the happy mail groove here so you're on my radar Lori now let's see if I cut this I'm going to cut this two black areas off and then two white areas and two black areas yeah let's do it that way because this this edge does not have any tape on it let's cut it with these Lori, I get to go meet Tanya and her husband are driving through Nebraska in their big RV on their way up to see their son. And so I'm going to meet them for lunch, hopefully, if all goes well. That'll make a nice... No, I think I can... I think I... Well, maybe these would make nice tag ties. Let's save those. Never throw, never throw this stuff away. We'll put it in my, if I can find it over here, my ephemera bag. And the other thing I'm going to pick up at Menards is um, some more, if I can find them, grommets for my, I know I can get washers there. I don't know if I can get the grommets there, but I can probably get grommets at Hobby Lobby. For my rusty journal. And I was at Walmart the other day. And I got uh, another yardage of fabric. Which is not written on like this. And it's it's not a text fabric. It's kind of got a design. But it's a kind of a mustard colored fabric. And I thought it would be pretty to rust it. And I ordered Rosemary's tiles, her rusty tiles. And I'll probably make those for the cover. And I'll probably ask my brother if he'll help me with the sharp edges. Or I might get some of that. You can buy that silicon. Um, oh, it's a silicon stuff that you can put on edges. I might see if I can get some of that, but... I need to, or I could put tape around the edges. Ooh, rusted, rusted cloth might look nice. Maybe padded with something. 
I'll, I'll ask my brother how to handle those sharp edges. She warns us there that there are sharp edges to be careful. All right, one more. Maybe I'll make this a, a two-inch strip. I got a little piece in there. I can't see where I'm driving. So now that I'm awake, I'm really excited about my day. This is pretty easy to cut. Nice washi tape. Thank you, Lori, for the pink girly. I'm having trouble seeing the print on my laptop. What do you, like, Frey, C-H-E-C-M. What is that, Tia? Arlene says, I want to meet Angie. She lives close to you. Oh, cool, Arlene. That would be cool. I don't know what you mean, Tia, like, Frey, S-E-C-H-C-M. Is that a typo? Arlene said, Joyce lives close, too, but she's uh, backed away from everyone. I don't know. Oh, free check. Yeah, only yeah, only it's um, a silicon. It's a silicon. Uh, it's a liquid silicon, and I'm not sure if that would work on on those rusted tins or not. But I was thinking I saw it in the store when when I first came down here, and I wanted my brother to make a a little mermaid because uh, my brother does pop can art and I wanted him to make my niece a mermaid and I was he was talking about the sharp edges that she well that was five years ago she was still young she was still well not young but a child she's grown up a little bit more now but he was worried about the sharp edges so let's put a strip of this in my journal and save these. Yes, I'm saving washi tape. Where's my journal? Ah! <laughs> this will go in my journal. Let me reach over here. I, I'm going to go through some library magazines. Here we go. Ooh, let's make some uh, let's make some washi tape out of this too. And I checked out one book yesterday, and it was about uh, a Madison author, Jen Jennifer Chavez. I have trouble pronouncing her last name. I'm a gone on the page. Put this on. I'm filling up this journal. Filled, 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 filled. We might have to put this in my May journal. Or my February one. I could move that. I got this. You guys get a, a flip through of my journal in the mornings. Hello, spring. Maybe I'll get caught up with my happy mail this. Here's a page. We can do it on something on this page. Let's put this down here. And then we'll put Lori's. And this will remind me of Lori. And I'll put Happy Mail from Lori. I'll have to put it down here. Okay. And I think I'll just put it down with a glue stick. And let's see. I'll glue everything except for the edges here. Well, I could go out to the edge over here. 
and not the top and the bottom. Telling me where I want to put my Is that Christy again? Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Christy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glue this page right in. Good morning to everyone who's gotten up early and is coming in. My early birds. I call you my early birds. I'm going to look at the and goodwill. And see, maybe in their clothing and their, um, oh, you know, their tablecloth and I don't know about bedding. And see if there's some fabrics that I can rust. Not that Battenberg one that Barb sent to me to rust. There's no way I'm rusting that beautiful Battenberg tablecloth. No way. No how. Now, since this is a little gluey here, maybe I should put a piece of that washi over here. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll just rub on it. Maybe I could put it on the edge here. Maybe just a little strip. I'll cut this in half. And we'll have two pieces of washing instead of one, which works too. And I noticed that the Tim Holtz pieces are on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I'll probably get some more. I always buy Tim Holtz ephemera when it comes on sale. Probably, in, well, I don't think the glossy accents is called Tim Holtz. It's more of a, that's the top. I think I'll cut that off. It's more of a Sizzix product. It has to say Tim Holtz on it. But the die cuts, the die cuts say, some of them say Tim Holtz on them. So I'm kind of interested in getting some die cuts. We'll see what's on sale. Let's put this right here because I got a little glue in there. And... This is the envelope that it came in. You use the entire piece. Not a bit goes to waste. Not a bit. Well, maybe the mailing label. But that's got her address on it. Hi, Renee. Hi, Renee. Good morning. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen glossy accents on sale, Rhonda. You're right. Don't get me started on the coupon thing. I'll probably mention it again when I go in the store. I, it isn't going to prevent me from shopping at the store, but I am disappointed that they discontinued their coupons. That really disappoints me about Hobby Lobby. I understand their store, but they survived perfectly fine with the coupon policy. <laughs> they just have to... They have to take away our fun. I don't think that's right. Ooh, I like that. I like it. Now I'm going to put this down in here. I'll probably cover up that dragonfly. And let's see. Let's put a, let's just put a piece of, well, I could put this on. Well, no, that's my. 
Do I want to do that? Yeah, I guess I will. But on the back, I'm going to put... Let's see. I'm going to put auction stamps... from Pink Girly. And I'll put Lori. April. A-P-R-I-L. 2021. Yep. Except she didn't, the dragonflies weren't her auction stamps, but that's okay. It's okay. I should have bought more. I should have bought more. But I I saw Keisha had a video out. I didn't have time to to uh, watch it, but she had a video out about her upcoming cell changes. Well. Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. There it goes. And we'll put that right I could put it over here. Well, I think I like it there. This is where it's going to go. There we go. Works fine. And then I got a little piece of washi here. Well, actually, too. Let's let's put it on here with glue stick. Let's see. I don't know if it's cheaper on Amazon or not. I haven't tried. I haven't looked for it. But I am tempted to take some of my Amazon <laughs> purchases and make copies of the receipts and, of course, block out the pertinent information and uh, send them copies and say, see where I get stuff now? that you don't have your coupon policy oh it's amazon i used to shop in your store all the time i'd make special trips just to shop at your store now it's not so special anymore <laughs> i'm tempted to send that to them and say please bring back coupons so that i can and then i think i will express how Having those 40% coupons, it, it made shopping kind of fun. Uh, you could spend it on, you could spend it on, uh, I wonder if that'll stick with my glue stick. I doubt it, but we'll give it a try. Um, on items that are not on sale at the time that you go up there. And it could be something that's 40% off another week of the month. And I don't live close to Hobby Lobby or any of those craft stores. So I, I'm not going to always be there the week something goes on sale. And it's nice to have a 40% coupon to buy stuff that that uh, is not on sale at the week that I go up there. That's my feeling. That's my feeling. 
Thank you, Lori, for the wonderful stamps. I'm going to enjoy these. Thank you, Pink Girly. I'm annoyed regarding those coupons. Annoyed, annoyed is uh, the nice word for it. You're on this being nice using uh, the word annoy. I'm. <laughs> it starts with the letter P off. <laughs> All right. Not that bad, though. I'll survive it. I will survive it. I'm so happy with this. I, I need to find these pages, though. I'm sure they're over here on my desk. The only thing I have to do is is work on these pages that Rhonda sent, and I'm going to put them in there. I don't know if I can get this up. I might be able to t get this up and put it in my April, uh, my May journal. We'll work with that. I might move this from my April journal to my May journal. Yahoo! Oh, let's do, let's do this since I've got it out. Uh, this side seems to be straighter. I'm going to have to make some more galaxy paper. Oops. You get off to a cro crooked start and you're crooked all the way down. It's got this little notch. Little. I don't know if I can get that up. I did. There. About an inch. Maybe I can find a piece of paper to put my scissors away already. Maybe I can find another little piece here. What can I use? What do I have? I've got a piece of black paper. Oh, I want more than black though. I want more than black. You would think. Let's see what I have. Wait a minute. Oh, I want to put... I want to put this in my art journal. I'm looking through my scraps over... across the other desk that need to go in a... A gallon baggie. They're starting to fall all over the place. Oh, I got this in Happy Mail. Maybe I could do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me pick up a couple of scraps that fell on the floor. Alrighty. Let's see what I can do here. I think I'll do the lace the edge. Maybe I will do it like so. We will cut up this beautiful doily. I'm sure she, 
whoever sent this doily to me in happy mail meant for me to use it on my art journaling. And I'm going to make a piece of washi tape out of it. So let's let's glue the let's glue the edge to this. I guess that's just a spot on the paper. Looks like I was playing with my gold pen there. And I'll put this aside. Let's put it like... it's crooked I do everything crooked I don't know why I've got a crooked eye <sighs> Mary has a crooked eye and then I'll take this and put here and I'll put that tape right down there and there'll be a well I'll have tape on one and glue on the other side. Let's trim this off. Mary, you're cutting that beautiful paper doily. Well, better that than this doesn't cut paper too good. Uh, better cut the doily than the tablecloth. We'll use the other in my art journal, in one of them. I'm sure it was sent to me to art with. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty paper doily. It'll still be an artsy, artsy page somewhere. Okay. So I want these two to go together. So, not like that, though, like this. And I'll put a piece of tape right in. And there. And of course it's crooked. Why would it not be crooked? Now I kind of like this vinyl tape that I'm using it all up. Now that I'm using it all up. see what I have for scrap over here. Let's just take a, a scrap and put on there. There. There we go. That's kind of pretty in and of itself, isn't it? I could use it as a as an edge right there. Maybe I will. It folds right in here. Right in here. That's perfect. Let's cut this off right down the center here. Perfect. 
and it makes a little border that way. We'll cut this off for washi tape. Right there. Ah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and then I have a piece here. This is a good way to use up scrap. All right, I'm gonna have to make me a little folder of that. Of those bits and pieces like this, rather than throw them over here. Now I have this. And I was gonna stamp more on this, but maybe later. Let's put this glow. Glow, 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 glow in my art journal. <sighs> kind of picking up the pieces this morning. Hi, Suze. Good morning. Rhonda says, I do a lot on Amazon. I've heard they are not the greatest company, but I can't remember why. But with the free shipping, although I do pay Prime, my hubby watches the Prime, so I get my money's worth. Yeah. He says, I've never bought glossy accents, so I have no clue what a good price would be. I think it costs around, what is it, Rhonda, about 6 or $7 for a bottle of it? A little. I've got some up here I haven't opened yet. But I buy it and have it on hand because it... Here, let me see how much it is. Yeah, it's seven dollars, six ninety nine for a six ounce. No, two, two, two ounce, two ounce bottle. So you're paying about three fifty for an ounce of glossy accent, but it does go a long way. And I do like it because you can glue down things like these buttons on this journal, and they stay. I I like the product itself, so I do buy it. Um, I'm not sure what it goes for on Amazon. I want to put that glow in this journal. Let's find an empty page. It's a good thing that today is the... 29th. There are only 30 days in April, right? Could put that right here. What did I do with it? Here it is. Glow, 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 glow. We can even leave that spot. Let's turn the bobby pin. My uh, art journals are more keeper. I've been saying that lately. They're more keeper journals than a keeper of my bright ideas and my thoughts and my art travels. Keepers of my art travels. Who knows what will happen. I was thinking yesterday that I need to make up a list of all my... Well, I don't have medical information to have to worry about. The, you know, pills and all that stuff. But if something would happen to me, my brother would need my information. And, of course, a part of that is maybe contacting some art friends. Because I'm sure my... Well, I would, I would let them pick what they wanted. They might want one journal. They might... Probably a journal that I've sketched faces in or something like that. I'd let them pick what they want. But then all my art supplies and stuff like that could be sent off. And I should make a list. And, you know, a list of my, my insurance policies and stuff like that. Bills I need to be paid. Because I will be off to a better land. I was thinking that I need to get that all together in one spot to make it my banking information, my YouTube information, all of that should be on a document that where they know where to go to get it. Do not that I'm planning on kicking off anytime soon, but you never know. 
Here today, gone tomorrow. And I was watching an old YouTube Johnny Carson. I'm not going to preach at you. I'm just going to tell you that he had Billy Graham. Billy Graham on his show. It was an old, old show. And he was interviewing Billy Graham. And he asked Billy Graham what Billy Graham thought heaven was going to be like. What do you think it's going to be like up there? <laughs> he said, do you think we'll have a golf course? <laughs> of course, that's what those men think about is golf. And, uh, which is okay, because that's what they enjoy. And Billy Graham said, uh, his wife, he asked that wife, his wife that. His wife was actually born in China and raised in China by missionaries. And uh, his wife is, keeps up with her biblical stuff. And he said, well, my wife, he said, I asked my wife if there would be golf courses in heaven. And she said, if that's what makes you happy, they'll be there. <laughs> and I'm going, oh boy, that means I finally will get a great big art studio when I get there. <laughs> and I'm sitting here going, you know, maybe I should uh, make a, a mental uh, list of what my mansion should look like. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll finally get a little cottage. Um, you know, a little place with, uh, you know, oh, I could just envision it. So, um, of course, wherever you are, you want to be around, I want to be around people. I don't want to be alone up there. <laughs> so you guys take note. I don't want to be alone up there and I won't be able to, I wonder if I could art stream from heaven. I wonder. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. Oh, and then the other thing that he said was, um, he was sure now this is he meaning Billy Graham thought that we would be able to, that, you know, when all the trouble is said and done and, uh, um, he said that we'll have things to do. We aren't just going to sit around all poo <laughs> when it goes my craft time. But he said that he thought that we'd be, be we would be traveling from planet to planet at the speed of thought. You just think it and you'd be there, kind of like rise. So that's kind of interesting to think about. I just want a home. I want a home. I want a house. I want that's what I want when I get. Ooh, this is looking nice there. I, that's what I would like. I just want a place to be. And I'm tired of moving. I'm tired of moving and not having, you know, having your own space. I'm, I'm pretty happy here. I'm not unhappy. But, but uh, you know, I, I have to get permission before I do something. And, you know, I just want my own spot. If I want to paint the walls, I want to paint the walls. I would probably... Maybe paint a mural on them. A, a galaxy. I'd probably have to get some help with that. <laughs> How we can invite my artsy friends who've gone on the, before me. Mary, does the vinyl tape work as good for the fabric washing? No. Um, on paper, this is not fabric. This is that plastic envelope that... that um, Paint Girlies half, uh, auction hall came in. This is actually was an envelope, uh, but uh, I the vinyl double sided tape seems to work better on paper and maybe even on these plastics because it's a it's vinyl. It's made for vinyl. Uh, the double sided carpet tape actually works better, in my opinion, on the fabric. It has more of a grip. This vinyl is a smoother tape that doesn't have that weave in it. And it works well on it works well on this plastic if I can get it off. And it works well on uh, paper. 
I do kind of like it for the paper versus the carpet tape. So I might get another because I can use it when I do paper stuff like this. There it comes. There it is. Let's just put this on the edge. On the edge. Now let's clip off the top and the bottom. Oh, I like that. Sue says, my neighbor, the school teacher, gets my art supplies. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. I'm not sure that I really want to designate other than if if my grandniece wants anything. I'm, I'm sure my nephew and his wife don't care about it. But if my grandniece would want, well, you know, they might want a, a journal that I've sketched in, one, one of my urban sketching journals. They might want some something there they may not either i don't know they have they have more modern young tastes than their old aunt but uh um i i would like for my things to go to the art community i think you know people out there in our in our world who need a big box of of an art studio in a box. An art studio in a box. And I think that that's, I could get some boxes and put together and say, put them in here and mail them off. Go get some priority mail boxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's after I'm dead. Or I shouldn't say it like that. And that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm not counting on it. But I should, at least, what I'm saying is, I should make a list of of people that they could contact. And, you know, somebody like Janet or Aunt Beck, um, uh, Arlene, <laughs> uh, Violet, you know, those people who can uh, take charge and say, uh, Mary... Mary uh, is not of this world anymore. <laughs> but she left us all her art supplies. So if you want something, you know, of course, people would have to see a list. I do remember, now this was before I was into, this was even before I was live streaming. I went to a needlework con uh, conference. And uh, this is the page I did with Beth Schuler, her her five page collage. Uh, but I went to this needlework conference, and actually, I think I was I wasn't presenting there, but I was greeting people. They asked me if I would like to be the door greeter. They thought I would be good at that, and I'm going, but I'm shy. <laughs> but I did it because. And I did have fun doing it. It taught me. It taught me how to welcome people in and everything. And that wasn't a problem. But I was kind of a part of the conference, but not really a part of the conference because I wasn't teaching or anything like that. I was just, I was kind of, I was kind of known by people, but not really uh, as a teacher or anything. But they had uh, a meeting you know, like on a Saturday night, how when you go to these conferences, they have a group meeting. And at the very end, all the teachers and the vendors and everything had this big, huge table of needlework. Uh, threads and linens and patterns and needles and beads and embellishments. Huge table of it. And they put it up for auction. And Mary got into this bidding war. <laughs> And Mary won. <laughs> I wasn't giving it up. And uh, uh, I just, I donated, I donated the money that, uh, it was a bidding war, but you could tell, you could, you could tell them where you wanted that money to go. The, the money 
that you spent on that auction was going to go to a charity. And so I could tell him what charity, I think that's how it worked. It was several years ago. You could tell what charity you wanted it to go to. And I chose the Boys and Girls Club. And this was out in Denver. This was a conference and needlework conference in Denver. And, uh, but what I did was I had, you know, uh, you think of at that time I had stash. I didn't need all that stuff and I knew I didn't need it. And so I told them, I said, uh, um, um, I'm going to leave the room because <laughs> after, you know, the, the lady who was auctioning it up said, come up and get your prices, Mary. And it was a huge table. She says, I don't know how you're going to carry it all home. And I, I raised my hand and said, I'm not going to carry it home. I said, I'm going to leave the room and leave that table up there. And anybody in this room who, after I leave the room, anybody in this room who wants something, there was a lady at the table that I didn't know her and I still don't know her name. She wanted the special thread that was there. And I, you know, I said, um, whoever it was at the time, I don't remember her name. I said, she wants that thread. I said, let her go up first and get what she wants. And uh, I didn't even know the lady. I was just sitting there. On, at the same table and I said I'm going to leave the room and then you guys can go grab what you want I'm not even going to watch <laughs> it was really more or less me donating to the boys and girls club but see I could afford it at that time I was working I couldn't afford to do that today but all this talking about I know what got me started off on that story memories I'm sharing my memories with you guys Arlene says, Humana provides a My Wishes book for recording everything we want our loved ones to know. If something happens to us, I would have never thought of some things like that. You know, it would be nice to do a little art journal, wouldn't it? Let's put that on my bright idea list. Let's put that on my bright idea list. Where's my paper? Here's another bright idea. Make an art journal. Make an art journal of it and tell, you know, and put all that important information and tell your, tell your family that anything that they need to know is in that art journal. And then, of course, I don't know, I'd probably have to seal up the well, I don't know if your insurance policy, maybe the banking information I'd have to, and social security number and stuff like that, and passwords. Of course, if somebody wants to get in it, a, a sealed envelope isn't going to stop them. But I could still put it in a sealed envelope. Passwords change, you know, so the password stuff, they I just have to tell them the account, and then you can change the password. Tell them about my YouTube account. So uh, let's see. Let's call it. What What could we call that type of a journal? Uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> the I, I'm out of here journal. Make a. Make a. What kind of a journal? <laughs> you can't remember your. I'll bet you remember some memories, Rhonda. <laughs> Arlene says, my fella agreed to box everything up. Well, now when my brothers, uh, I was still up in Madison. Actually, she was gone for, my brother's significant other had passed away about three years before I got down here. But he told me, uh, she was a spender. She worked and, you know, she didn't, she liked to spend things on her grandkids and she liked to buy things. She also was a very good crochet she, there's Afghans up there in a tub that are beautiful. Um, of course, he won't let me sell them or anything. They're just sitting up there in the closet. It's too bad. Um, I should get them out and probably air them out. They're beautiful. What can, what can I call this journal? If you're reading this, make a... If you... 
are reading this. I like that. I've moved on. <laughs> I've moved on, journal. That's what it is, and I've moved on, journal. Journal. So I'm more concerned about list of art contacts, uh, even needlework contact. I'm going to put art, because that's primarily my hobby is art and needlework contacts. Uh, I'm just going to put important info. That will be all the banking stuff and all that. Import info and my wishes. Now, what they can't get passed on, he could donate to Goodwill. And what I was going to say was when his significant other passed away, um, he said that he loaded up. I, uh, he said his pickup truck was just full. And he said when he took it to Goodwill, there was no more room in the donation. <laughs> there was no more room in the donation bin. I'm going to put this in here. So that would be a fun thing to do. Um, I could make the journal, but not, you know, not share all the contents. Some of it would be private. So, after life journal. Oh, that's a good one. Hi, Lori. Lori, I'm working in your Edith Holden book. What did I do with it? I ha I was going to work on that today, too. I'm sure it's over here somewhere. Well, we'll get to it when we get to it. I want to record that uh, I bought mulch the other day, and I'm going to... I'm going to, my on my radar this morning is, I want to get my brother a weed, old, a, a weed older, a weed eater. I'm going to gift that to the household. Uh, he won't buy it himself. He's waiting for me to buy it. Uh, but I am going to get it. it I, I think they're on sale at Menards. We were looking at them the other day. <clears throat> so I just decided that I'm going to take some of my my uh, pandemic money and buy a, a weed eater to beautify our house, our, our edges of our curves. Because when I mow, I'm afraid to get too close to the curve with that lawnmower. You know, the blade hits that cement and I don't like the sound of it. So I picked up some some books at the library. This is a cool cookbook. Look at that. It's a vintage cookie carnival from the famous Betty Crocker picture cookbook. I don't know if I can art journal this. Let's look at the cookie recipes. This was dated General Mills 19... Well, it's not that... Oh. Well, it says copyright this is not in 1887. I think that's 1947. It could be 1967. I can't read it. It looks like, well, it could be 87 too. I can't read the date on it. It's in tiny, tiny print. It looks like a 1940s or 50s. This really looks like a 1950s, but I don't think that's a five. I think it's a 1947. Betty Crocker. If you were to tell me what favorite baking is, I have an idea that it would be cookies. There is such a marvelous variety from the most elaborate party and holiday cookies to those good old cookie jar favorites. Whatever kind you make, they fill the kitchen with such a heavenly aroma. Do keep your cookie carnival handy and use it often. You'll find Every kind of cookie for every day in the year to suit your family's taste. Won't you come into our kitchen and join us in our cookie shines? That used to mean tea parties. 
but it's what we call our sessions of cookie baking as cookie shines. We have lots of fun trying out all the delicious cookies that come to us from many lands. They're so easy to make. Now turn to the recipe paper pages. I'm just reading the bold print. Cookies being such a big reward in cheer and satisfaction. Oh, look, there's a gingerbread house. This would make a wonderful journal and take it apart and not paste anything on it, but put your journaling. Ooh, this could go in my June journal. This could go as an insert in my June journal. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll keep this out. We, we might have cookies in June. Because it's such a fun vintage. It's got... It's got... Uh, it could be an insert. If I took it apart carefully, I could even use the pages as... Here, it's stapled. Let's look at the cookies. Let's just look at them. Because there's a gingerbread house. Oh, that's a pretty one, too. Christmas novelty, and they tell you how to make it. Before you start, read through the recipe. Get together the ingredients, collect the utensils, heat up the oven, and measure the ingredients. And then they take you through all the steps. Drop cookies. Let's see. <sighs> how to make drop cookies. Brown sugar drops. Ooh, that does sound good, doesn't it? Holiday fruit cookies, salted peanut cookies, easy filled cookies, jeweled cookies, oatmeal fruit nut drop cookies. Ooh, those sound good. Wheaties drop cookies. Hermits. Mix together the eggs and the shortening. They say shortening. They don't say butter. They say shortening. Two cups of brown sugar. Stir in a half a cup of cold coffee. Flour, soda, salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Two and a half cups of seeded raisins. <laughs> a fourth cup of broken nuts. That sounds good. Coffee cookies. I like the idea of putting coffee in them. Oatmeal fruit nut drops. Wheaties drop cookies. Jubilee Jumbos. Butterscotch cookies. My brother would like those. He likes he likes weird stuff. <laughs> Chocolate drop cookies. Old time cinnamon jumbos. Stir and drop sugar cookies. Ginger creams. Cocoa drop cookies. Golden carrot cookies. That sounds good. One cup of soft shortening, part butter. <laughs> I'm not going to buy the shortening. I'd have to substitute butter there. Three-fourths cup of sugar. A cup of mashed carrot, cooked carrots. It's almost like taking a carrot cake and making a cookie out of it. Two eggs. Flour, baking powder, salt, and shredded coconut. And then you would frost it with a... With a a cream cheese frosting and have a cookie carrot cake chocolate kisses swedish macaroon i'm making you guys hungry for a cookie refrigerator cookies nut refrigerator cookies date nut orange almond refrigerator cookies those sound good now i don't know if i put this in my june journal i might have to bake some cookies look at that beautiful bonbon we used to make these bonbons when I was a kid. We'd make these bonbons. It was so fun to do. I, maybe I'll make some bonbons. Only they call them petticoat tails. Well, no, they call them bonbon cookies. I was reading this. Petticoat tails. Oatmeal refrigerator cookies. Frosted brownies. Dainty tea brownies. Now we're into the brownies. Hazelnut bars. Mmm. Date bars. Christmas mint meat bars. Am I making you guys hungry? I'm in the middle of the book. Snickerdoodles. Molasses crinkles. Ethel's sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. Chocolate pinwheels. Wagon wheels. Ooh, look at those pretty cookies. Cookies for Christmas. Whole plate of them. 
wreaths and bales and stockings and Santa Claus. They're talking about shapes. Here's the gingerbread boys. Cookies from home. Packing cookies successfully for mailing. Good travels. Gingerbread boys. Pineapple filling. I have to peruse this entire cookbook. I, and this is obviously a Swedish name, L-E-B-K-U-C-H-E-N, Lebkuchen, the famous old-time German Christmas honey cakes, Moravian ginger cookies, Scotch shortbread, that sounds good for a breakfast cookie, filled cookie turnovers, Filled cookies in fancy shapes, pineapple filling, date filling, how to make cookies with a press, spritz cookies. We might be doing cookies in June. I'm going to save this out because I love the cover. I love the cover of it. What does this look like? This is an index. Easy to get your very own. Better crocky Better Crocker cookbooks, beautiful silverware, exquisite hollowware when you follow the Betty Crocker coupon plan. See? Coupons from Betty Crocker. I like that. I'm going to keep that out. That might go in my June journal. We'll see. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning. You have sweet tooth, Arlene, or Kimberly? She was talking to Arlene. Hi, Kim. Hi, Carol. I think I said, or not Carol, Renee. I don't need prompting to want cookies. I always want cookies, Arlene says. Mary said she found those at the library. Yes, I did. These were on the free library table. Usually they clean out their magazines, but you have to get there at the right time. And they don't have, you know... It isn't like they'll call you and let you know when they're going to put out magazines. So uh, there were just a few little stacks there. But I found this. Th what I found is they'll put out like it's getting along in summer. So they'll put out the winter and fall stuff. I found a few things. I like these cottage magazines. Then I found these. And I think these are national well, I found the country magazines. If you see their fall issues. But I found these, and I think they're National Geographics. And I'm going to try not to show the address because I think that they were donated to the library. I think somebody just came in and put them on there. Yeah, see, it says National Geographic. That must be how they mail them when you have a subscription. Planet or plastic? At National Geographic, we choose the planet. We pledged. We choose the planet. We pledge to wrap our magazines in recycled paper instead of plastic. This one act eliminates nearly 30 million plastic bags per year. It feels plastic, but it probably is paper. And you know, this would be nice as journal insert too. Let's cut this. Let's cut this here. And... I only picked up a few. I got three here, four here. I might have a couple more out in the other room. But these have never been opened. The past is calling. History guy, history, history, history. Now see, this would make little, this would make little book charms. For an art journal. You know how you make those little. I'm going to save this. Oh and of course I showed the address. When I said I wasn't going to. They shouldn't have put it on the inside. National Geographic. It's a diverse. Iconic some say spiritual landscape. There's a cowboy on a horse. I think I have to move my stuff down a little here. Ooh. And you know, I think should I should I tear out as I go? 
We age, we blend, we age again. I like that. I think I'm going to tear out as I go. I think I'm going to do the, look, live true. I think I'm going to do the, this is an interesting, this would be something probably Dee Dee would say. Are you truly ready to meet her dad? I like that. Are you totally ready, though? I'll probably tear everything out. Ooh. I like this family on the back. That would make a nice art journal. Create a legacy of your own. I'll save that. Keeping goals in sight. I'll save that. <laughs> I want to save this, but I guess I won't. And when children lack nutrition, we ask to see how you go beyond. Numbers tell only half the story. An uncommon kingdom. Ooh, that's interesting. The Museum of Everyday Life. Oh, these are interesting pictures. Yeah, we'll save that. I do th throw some things away on these, though. But they're, when there's interesting stuff. Now here it says Mars. Mars. They're going to Mars. They're on Mars now with uh, a little postage stamp size of fabric off of Orville and what's the other guy? The Wright Brothers airplane went to Mars. Sailing through space. See, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff in these magazines. You might as the worm turns. So I don't. You might as well just keep the entire magazine. Well, so far I've I've tossed three pages. <laughs> Brilliance. There's a word. I don't need the Medicare stuff. The new face of exploration. Thinking pulse of the red planet. See, it's talking all about Mars. Science happens because of you. When a friend defies death. They're talking about rock climbing. And this is all about, you know, you know. Liquor. I don't need that. So we'll throw it away just to have some. Preserving sagebrush for grouse would help other animals, but it might prove costly to ranchers, miners, and oil and gas developers, and real estate brokers. The American West. Oh, this would go good in my um, Indian. Oh, look at this. That Indian caboodle, that rosemary. Oh, this is getting saved. Deep in a box canyon in Utah, in the heart of the fractured land known as Bears Ears National Monument, there's a cave. A swooping mineral streaked alcove in a sandstone cliff. I don't like caves. Ooh, but look at that. I It gives me the creeps, and I don't like tunnels. Oh, yeah, we're going to, ooh, I like that picture that's very unique special offer for the little kids i'm so tempted to get a subscription for my grandniece saving the sage ah, this is all going to get saved and i can always throw it away later so so far i've thrown away this <laughs> and i've saved this <laughs> and this is all about saving the grout but see now this would be something Dee Dee would keep and make another world I might save that for another world of course there's some cowboys there Dee Dee would keep this but not that Dee Dee would keep this she might keep that that's the sage grouse. I'm not really interested in grouses, though. So 
we'll toss that. And we'll save this in honor of Dee Dee. I might make an abandoned page someday. Oh, look at this. That is interesting. They're burning the sage there, but that's kind of an interesting picture. Dee Dee would save that. Dee Dee would save this. Dee Dee would save it, so Mary's going to. Oh, and even this could be another world. And there's the... Pr I don't know if that's a sage grouse or a... Pr no, that's a prairie dog. We used to have prairie dogs. My dad... But when I was a young kid, he bought this farm not far from here. And I can remember, and it was it was not a real good farmland. It was just a farmhouse. And anyway, he bought it. And I can remember going and walking out in the pasture with my dad. And we saw these prairie dogs poking their heads out. Their little burrows. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save the prairie dog. That's what that reminds me of. And now we're in the menu of the future. Insects, weeds, and bleeding veggie burgers. Oh, yuck. Oh, oh, bur Ew. What is in a bleeding veggie burger? The impossible burger shown on those pages. I can't even look at it. Is made from wheat and potato proteins. Well, I could eat that. Coconut oil and other ingredients, including yeast derived from which it makes apparent. Oh, the yeast makes it appear to bleed. Well, I could. But citing the environmental consequences of industrial animal production, the companies behind the plant based burgers argue that. The problem is not meat, but meat from animals. We believe that we're sort of inventing meat. So I can't stand to look at it. They, they're calling this meat. It's really veggies. But I would have to cook that. It, it is vegetable matter. But I can't. Yeah. Pale ale is good food. Ew. Oh, yuck. Let's just go buy this. Algae oil caught in chaos. And this is all about immigration, immigrants. Flooding history. Tanya was saying that they're having a hard time finding a campsite here in Nebraska because we had floods here in Nebraska a couple years ago. I mean, bad flooding. And I guess it wiped out several of the RV parks and everything. And uh, they're not finding very many that are still open. They're hoping to find one tonight. I'm hoping they get there, but they can't make a reservation that, that's on a hurry and get there basis. But I think Walmart, because I was watching one channel where uh, some of the Walmart stores well, after hours, of course, now they don't have an RV park. They they could always park that RV on a, on a you know, on a well-lit, in a well-lit uh, rest area. They can't camp there, but, you know, they could stay there a couple hours if they needed. They need to find a, a place to park, and she was saying they're all flooded out up there, so... I don't know. Flooding. We had it here a couple years ago, and I guess they haven't recovered from it in some of these RV parks. I don't pay much attention to it because it doesn't affect me, but now that she says it, flooding. This is all about flooding. Here's another give a issue. Where the water will rise. This is all about water. A crack in the world. A crack in the world. Maybe I'll save that. I kind of like that. A crack in the world inspires me. So I guess I'm doing Dee Dee's Chill Magazine harvest here. I really wasn't... Well, I kind of planned to look at this, but this wasn't what I was... Oh, look at that little seal. Oh, he's cute. He's sunning himself on a... Iceberg will save him. And Washington 
vanishing sea eyes. There's some penguins. They're not on ice. They're on the ground there. Uh, more penguins in the ocean. Iceberg melting. Wildlife as Canon sees it. What's in between here? Nothing that I want. That's an interesting picture of the two giraffes looking in opposite directions. That's kind of an interesting picture. We'll save it. And there's a gorilla. I'm not sure I want to save that. All right. So I'm going to toss this. <laughs> and I'm going to keep this. That's not, not too bad. So let's open the next. Oh, let's make a... Where's the folder on this envelope? Let's let's make a. Well, we'll just put it back inside. These will be my keepers here. And let's do the other one. I kind of like this built to explore envelope. These would make a nice journal pages. Oh, of course I didn't open it enough, did I? Yeah, I did. What is this one all about? We shall see. Oh, there's a turkey. Maybe we'll save that for Thanksgiving. That one's savable. This one is about the search for sacred texts. Oh, I love that text. We'll save this. I'm sure this will be a, this will be one that will interest me. Contents. I like these numbers. Oh, and look at the lions. Oh, they're cute. The mama and the two babies. Rideshare. Commitment to balance. Mirrorless reinvented. We can lay down the burden of race. 85 years, always in style. Oh, I like her. Maker's Mark Whiskey. Yeah, she's kind of interesting. Eskimos. Ew! What are they doing? Butchered bowhead whale. Ew! This is all about Eskimos. I can't keep it all. Some things are bigger than banking. The Global Peril of Inequality. Yeah. Taking your time. Here's to taking your time. I like that saying. Here's to taking your time. We make more holiday deliveries. Program change. Oh, this is a metamorphosis of a butterfly. That's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll save that. Metamorphosis. I can always toss it later. Marine Mars. He likes his mate's odor. She appreciates his taste. Ew! Elegy for a lion. There's a pretty lion picture. Let's save the lion. Oh, there's some more lions. Mars. This is another beer, whiskey, liquor ad. Oil palms with giant bunches of red fruit grown beneath unruly fronds are an ancient staple crop over the past decade. However, palm oil has exploded. Look at these. Oh, here. The Bible Hunters. Look at that text. In the cloak and dagger world, where religion meets archaeology, scientists, collectors, and schemers are racing to find sacred texts. Oh, I'm going to save this. Look at that. The heat is merciless among the barren hills of the Judean desert near the shore of the Dead Sea. 
I'm going to save this because this interests me. This article, I'll go back and I'll go back and look at this. This is all about these old religious Bibles and everything. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's tear this out. And this section will be saved. Gift to guide. Oh, there's two leopards there. I don't think there's anything in here. There's been palm oil. The Tree of Plenty. They're talking about palm oil. Hot commodity. Reclaiming our stories. Oh, I like that. Just even that text. Reclaim your story. Native American photographers are pushing back against portrayals of their culture by non-natives. Oh, well, you can't blame them for that. Saints and sinners. You can't blame them for that. I could, this kind of interests me. That would, could go in the Indian caboodle or around the Indian caboodle. Our world, but not our world view. The problem began with one word, America. That word honoring an Italian explorer. I'm in my own world here. Oh, look at powwow. Oh, look at that. I, this is all going to be saved. That's all about the American Indian. I got, <laughs> and I really do mean it. I got just a teensy bit of Cherokee blood in me. <laughs> Um, my father's grandmother or great-grandmother or something was Cherokee Indian. There's not enough in there to really claim that I'm a, a part Cherokee, but I have it in my past. I'm sure we all got some Indian in our past somewhere. I don't claim Indian benefits, though. I don't know how long I was down. Let's see, when did Arlene say buffer? At 6.13. Oh, so it just happened. There we go. Thank you guys who stuck with me. I'm just doing the magazine. It just happened about well six oh eight. Hi Nikan. Thank you, Arlene. Arlene, if you have to go get your breakfast, you go get your breakfast. You go get your breakfast. I'll watch it. They were talking about those veggie burgers. Rhonda says she loves the Impossible Burgers. Hi, Angie. Welcome, Angie. Thank you, Arlene. Go get your breakfast, Arlene. <laughs> I am just doing a magazine uh, harvest. I like that little squirrel. I'm doing a magazine harvest, kind of a impromptu one. I really don't have a project planned other than I want to put some things in that Edith Holden journal and maybe kind of clear off my cart over there. I got to get rid of some of this stuff. It's piling up on me. Oh, you already did while I was harvesting. Okay. Lori's here. She says, I'm here for about 15 more minutes. I'll watch too. Thank you, Lori. 
Are you working today? Lori, I got your blaze. I'll get them off one of these days. I'll get them off one of these days. I'm trying to... I'm slowly getting some happy mail sent. So thank you guys for coming back in. You're, you're finding me again. Lori says you're working. She's working. She's been super busy. She's off tomorrow. All right. What are we watching? I'm doing a magazine harvest, Angie. I'm, I, got, I went to the library yesterday and picked up some magazines. And I'm just going to harvest them in front of you today. And I'm saving off the... I'm saving off the pages that I want in these. I guess when they mail out these, we don't get a subscription to them, but they mail them in these wonderful wrappers that says Built to Explore, which I think will make really nice art journal pages. i got to be careful about showing that address. Of course, they could have taken their address off of it before they put it to the donation table. I would have scribbled that out, but it could be somebody who doesn't care anymore, like it could be a family of a person who passed away or something. This one, the future of medicine is here. The future of medicine. I don't know if this one will interest me as much. Ew. Yuck. What does he have on his body? The secrets of Chinese medicine. Every body is unique. Ew. This is kind of interesting. We'll see that picture. Bourbon and rye. They got some liquor ads in this magazine. Not sure that this magazine is appropriate for liquor ads. Medicine. This is all about medicine here. I'm not sure that I am as interested in that. However, Home Pharma. There, um, didn't Rosemary do a... Was it anthropology? No, it wasn't anthropology. She did a medical caboodle. This might be interesting for that. I could save it out and then what I didn't want. I don't know if I want to save that, but I kind of like this. And I kind of like the word home pharma. I like that word. That doesn't interest me so much. They're showing how they get it from plants. The backstory. Hidden away in the world's bathrooms and cabinets, pills, syrups, and ointments pile up. Has anybody seen, heard from Nashua? Nashua, beginning to worry about her. No? Double-aged. Doctor photographer. Now that might be interesting. Doctor photographer. What is that word? It starts with an A. It's not anthropology. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I can't... I'm having trouble pulling the words out of my head. His future can be your legacy. The future of medicine. Connected high tech, your medical future. Oh, there's a neat watch. Mm. What to eat when? Everybody is unique. I kind of like that. I'm looking for print things like 
everybody is unique. And I kind of like that handprint. Oh, this is a... Ooh, that's kind of neat. Let's save this. No, it's not archaeology. That's more... It's a medical term. I'm sure if I looked at Rosemary's back in her caboodle, she would... It was a caboodle around... Uh, what was it November of last year? It was around November, I think, or November of last year. I can't pull that word out of my brain right now. If you don't use those words every day, do do do. Ooh, that's an interesting picture. I'm not saving this. I'm, I'm letting this stuff go. I have to let some stuff go. The Immortal Corpse. Yes. There's a lady playing with her kitty cat. A little picture. Susan Potter knew in greasy detail what was going to happen to her body after death. That's interesting, but I don't think I'll save it. Not interested. Not interested. I mean, I'm interested, but I don't like the grizzly stuff. That's not going in my... Grizzly stuff is not going in my art journal. Now, the Emperor's Medicine Chest. That's kind of cool. Look at that. The Emperor's, unlocking the Emperor's medicine chest. Ooh, that doesn't appeal to me at all. But this does. There's a heart. In my hand, I'm holding a warm, beating heart, about the size of a softball. It's a luminous globe of scarlet, pink, and white tissue. Wow. All right. I'm sorry, but traditional treatments. No, oh, we're just passing this stuff up. Giving life can still be deadly. Oh. About babies and parents. Mother's at risk. Age to perfection. Now, I like that. We'll get to that. At any age. I like the age to perfection. All right, one more. Let's put these in my... No, I, I, uh, I didn't save much out of that. That's good. If I can whittle this down from one, four magazines to one, I'll be doing good. Let's pull out the stuff that interests me. And these are just empty envelopes. I love this. These are going to go in as journal pages. These might go in my June or July or maybe a junk journal. Uh, let me check out. Oh. Kathy's World. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Do 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 I'm checking out something here. No. Oh, 
Oops. Apothecary. Apothecary uh, caboodle. Rosemary did an apothecary. That was the word I was looking for. I knew. I knew it was there. I just had to look it up. Um, the word I was thinking of that started with an A is apothecary. <laughs> I don't use that word every day. I don't use that word every day. Who came in here while I was gone? Hi, Kathy. You like my top? Are you talking to me? I got it at the thrift store, paid $3. It's got three-quarter length sleeves, though. I've got pretty long arms, but I think these are made to be three-quarter length. It really is a pretty top. And see how these plants come here? Well, the, the edge, the bottom of the top kind of flares out a little and it's got this real pretty border along the base of and it's polka dot it's black polka dot and i at the dollar general store i found a pair of um i found a pair of leggings that are black and white polka dot and i wear this top with the black and white leggings if you're talking to me. <laughs> but I think this is supposed to be th a three-quarter length uh, top. Do, do, do. Kathy, the trip is to tear pages off. The trick is to tear pages off instead of out. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Been thinking about her. Um, for those of who just came in, I get to meet Tanya today. Tanya and her husband, Jeff, are driving through on their Nebraska on their way up to Omaha, which is on the north, or the, I already cut this, on the east side of Nebraska. I'm kind of in the south central, and uh, they're stopping. This is about the story of a face. Oh my goodness. What do they have here? I can't say that. That's this would be a weird this would be for a weird I don't mean to call her weird, but I can't say that. Uh wildlife is canon sees it. Oh, I kinda like that. When you need someone to talk to about your retirement. She looks pensive though. I kind of like that, how she's studying her, her study in there. Rockets for regular folks. No, rocket stuff in here for the kids. The backstory. Bacteria strike back. Bugs and anti-bugs. Some things are bigger than banking. Raise the bar in any bar. I don't know if I appreciate their liquor ads. I have to say that. Because National Geographic is really an educational type magazine. And I'm not sure I appreciate the liquor ads. I suppose kids are around liquor more than we. Life on cheese. Ew. Walking the line. Ebbing wild wetlands. Take a smart step toward a more secure future. This look could have killed. Ew. Yeah, that offers Katie's new face. Aw, oh, look at her there. She's pretty. Aw. Oh, they're giving her a new face. Aw. Oh. Oh, she's pretty there. This story is difficult to look at, yet we are asking you to go on a remarkable journey of how a young woman received a face transplant because it reveals something profound about our humanity. Our face conveys who we are, telegraphing a kaleidoscope of emotions. It's our doorway to the sensory world. 
allows us to see, taste, smell, and hear, and feel the breeze. Are we our faces? Katie lost hers when she was 18. The doctors gave her a new face. This is a story of trauma, identity, resilience, and devotion. So amazing medicals. We won't show the whole thing. It is kind of hard to look at. We'll show, we'll show it when she gets her new face here. I guess that's the end of it there. I'm going to pass by that because the pictures aren't anything I want to explore on my video. I mean, they're hard to look at. They're... I'm not opposed to them. I just don't want to show them on my video. This is a National Geographic magazine. I got it at the library. I'm going in and getting pictures. I'm harvesting magazines. There's not much in this one that I want. I'm not into birds. Building a new American dream. Now that interests me. Building a new American dream. South, Southern Asian Americans are expanding on the success of their immigrant parents. Well, I don't know. This is all about immigration. I'm not opposed to that either. So if you're Asian, I don't hate you. You're, this is America after all. All right. So that's, I'm done with the National Geographic. I have, I'm going to dispose of this. And I found, I only kept one page out of that entire magazine. Good for me. I'm keeping one, three, three, em, three empty envelopes. And one probably about the size of a magazine of keepers. So I did pretty good on the National Geographic haul. I love the National Geographic. I'm not so sure I'm sold on their liquor ads. Just because I'm not sure that's appropriate for a educational. But I guess that's not up to me to decide. Let's see, I got a I got a plastic bag here someplace. A trash, an extra trash bag from my library. From my library, I carried these home, the books home in a tr bag yesterday. Let's just toss them. I might need to, I might need to double bag this. We'll throw these away on my way out of town in our trash can. <laughs> And in other words, I'll take them out to the trash afterwards. All right, so now we're in the country magazines, Autumn in the Woods. And these are all autumn issues, except for the cottage ones. We're just going to Harvest Magazines this morning. This is a chill day. Hi, Joycey. Arlene dropped the link to Joycey's channel. Thank you, Arlene. Oh, is that... Renee, Renee, you have a channel? I didn't know you had a channel, Renee. Let me subscribe to you. Thank you, Arlene. Let me subscribe to Renee. Oh, I am subscribed. I am already subscribed to you. And you need to do more videos. Stream to you. Stream? Renee, do you stream? Oh, Renee, do you do lives? Second try. Trying this live. How did that turn out? Six, you, were, you streamed for about six, seven minutes each. We're going to have to get you live, Renee. All things paper, fabric, metal, wood, 
Reminds me of home and the happiness of childhood. Vintage, just old or antique. It all fits in your little red wagon. Oh, and you got an Etsy shop? I am subscribed to you, but I probably didn't know it because you aren't doing a lot of videos. we got to get you doing more videos. Renee, you want to try? Oh, we're going to have to get you going, Renee. Thank you. Renee has an Etsy shop. It's The link is on her About page, Kathy. Renee is a hoot, Arlene says, but usually is on other people's streams. Yes, yeah, Renee comes in here a lot. Renee is our, one of our regulars in here. Let's see, what did Kathy say that's pretty? Do, 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 do. Me too, Rhonda. We are camping in a state park, and I was doing echo dying over the campfire. Oh, how cool. How cool is that? And now have two women rangers come by on their time off to learn how to do it. Oh, wow, that's cool. You're teaching the rangers how to echo die. Kathy, that's cool. That is interesting. Hi, Mary Two. Good morning, Mary Two. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to everybody who's coming in. I had a bit of a problem a few minutes of a few about half an hour or so ago. So this is a this is an autumn issue of the country magazine. And this magazine I think is owned by Reader's Digest now. Oh, look at that schoolhouse. School days. Let's pull this out. Let's pull this out. Well, we'll be saving stuff out of this. I won't be able to resist. Dear Country, The Good Life, Unexpected Beauty. Oh, and it has the bikers. I could do a sketch of that. Sweet Sorghum, inspired by that. Newton County, Country Almanac. Oh, I love, oh, a Saturday drive. With camera in hand, we set out to explore Virginia's back roads. A Saturday drive. You know, I should do a Saturday drive. I've got a piece of Velcro, right? Here's my rear view mirror, and I put the Velcro on the back of the rear view mirror. So it would be kind of like a dash cam up further. The legendary John Wayne Western Jacket. Beneath the Whispering Pines. All around our little house in the woods. It's a pretty flower. I can't save everything. The oldest town in Texas. I can't save everything into the woods. I kind of like that. But it's across two pages. There's a cowboy. Oh, look at that horse. We'll save the horse. <laughs> Out of the ashes, school mascot. Confessions of a Historical Reenactor. Dressed in a hoop skirt, I bring out the past life of farmsteads. Summer in a jar. There's comfort in knowing the soil in which one's food is grown. That is true. Ready to take your life back? Put it on repeat. All right. Ooh. And I always like the back issues. Truth is, the simple act of taking a hike can be a life-changing activity one step at a time. I might say that just for... All right, so this is going to go in the toss bag. America's Best Drives. Travel in Style. I might save that for a future travel project.
The Good Life. Up a lazy river in Colorado. Raised on Black Pond. You just can't save all of this. On the open road. I kind of like that. Beauty like no other. Scenic drives. Sand Hills Grand Tour. Yeah. I wish I could save it, but I can't save everything. <sighs> buffalo. I might sit that buffalo on. I can't save everything, she says, as she rips out the next page. All gifts are half off. Are you sleeping again? <laughs> Mary too says it was a beautiful day, Arlene. I feel accomplished, but tell me out. Oh yeah, you put up a short plant video. Oh, I have to go watch it, Mary. You had a a sale, didn't you? Uh Oh, there, let's see. Kathy says, I'm doing some pretty prints with foliage. I had no idea Spanish moths made such pretty prints. Oh, it comes out looking lacy. Oh, cool, Kathy. Hi, Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. Mary, too, says, my Oma, which I think she means her grandmother, uh, used to eat chocolate-covered Coffee beans. Oh, those are a... I've eaten those. Those are a delicacy. kind of like that picture. I wish that they wouldn't cut it across. However, this is in the middle of the book. Maybe I can take that out that way. I like that perspective. Let's save that. Peek to pee. Birds and blooms. There's a hummingbird. I've been looking for a bird for my for one of my art journal pages. This is all about autumn. Looking at it from the sky. Ooh, I love that picture too. Shelter from the storm. Let's save this. That inspires me. Oh, look at the kitty. My sister and I were always playing with new kittens. That'll get saved. Yarnies. They like to refer, to refer to themselves. Seek out those shops as treasure hunters look for lost gold. I'm not sure what that they're talking about, but looks like they're talking about yarn. The heart of the home, of course. Hearing aids. Disaster by chocolate. <laughs> Why did the cowboy buy a dash hound? Talking about the little wiener dogs. Someone told him to get a long little doggy. <laughs> oh, I gotta say that. Get a long little doggy. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. I might save that. <laughs> Waterfall. Stay safe. Seasons collide. And, of course, we're at the back. I think these labels can be taken off. I think they can be taken off. Yeah. Be a reflection of what you like to receive. If you want love, give love. If you want truth, be truthful. What you give out will always return. So all of you that send me happy mail, just think what you're going to get in return. Uh, won't always be for me because I'm pretty bad about sending. I'm getting better. I sent out two, have, two, mail, two mailings yesterday. I mailed two, two letters yesterday. So I saved this out of those country magazines. That's, that's not bad. We'll go through and fussy cut it. I'm just harvesting now. So now we're to the country sampler. Now we're to the reason why I 
pulled these magazines out in the first place. Let's toss this. Where's my bag? Let me toss these. I, it's kind of a shame, but you know, you cannot keep all these magazines around. And they would have gotten tossed anyway. And this is my saver pile. So what I saved these out for is in my art journal, I want to do a another, um, what time is it? It's only 7 o'clock, quarter till 7. I can go until 9. Uh, I want to do a um, another two-dimensional shadow box. So I'm going to go through here and pick out things I can put in, like these X's and O's would go in a, and I might cut as I go. And I want to kind of hope to get this done this morning. But I especially like drawers and cabinets, uh, things on shelves. So stuff like, like this will go nice in a two-dimensional shadow box. Stuff like this. So we're going to, that's what we're going to do with these magazines. Now, do I want anything else on here? I kind of like these pumpkins. Let's, let's see if I can trim. Now, let's trim this way. And... I don't know about this stuff here, uh, but we'll say that I can always toss it. I can always toss, uh, toss that. Let's see, I'm saving my X's and O's, so this is my save pile, and that's my trash pile. I should put that the other way around. This is my save pile, and this is my trash pile. So I like cabinet doors, things like these, things like these iron skillets hung out, hung on this, the wall of this, let's just cut it out this way and this way, will go nice in a two-dimensional shadow box. So that's what I look for when I go through these, when I'm doing a project like this. Pictures on walls, like here's a nice wreath up here. There's a little bird there. Let's save that bird if I can. Save him. Save this wreath up here. And I don't always use it all. It just depends on how I put it together. But I'm I'm saving these for a two-dimensional shadow box. And I hope to get it. I'm just going to glue book it. All about comfort. Clocks. There's some brooms. Uh, maybe this clock I might. Well... I don't know if I'll save that. Hello, fall. Here's some, here's some, you know, the decorative items. This, this is a country sampler. They sell stuff like this, but I kind of like that stack of books. I kind of like those houses, too. And this is not a stack of books. This is actually a wooden crate. And they painted the edges, the they painted the box, the crate, sides. Things like that. I don't know if I want that. Do I want these? Yeah. I could save those. Dress to impress. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. 
There's a deer. What's in the back? Well, I like this. If I can cut it. That would make a nice shadow box. And then I'll go through and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to toss. And here's a picture of a man up here. It's another one of postage size, but we're going to save this one. Oh, and look at that border. Here's a border. We'll save that for inspiration. Fleur de Lee. Do I need to zoom in a little? No, I think I'll leave it the way it is. Fleur de Lee border. I like those colonial. But we're going after this picture here. Of this man. Uh, Becky was doing, she called them found relatives, but I think Barb Owen does lost relatives. Right? Lost relatives? Um... I was thinking it would be fun to take some of these old pictures like this, this guy here, and do lost relatives based on old photographs. That would be kind of fun to do. Now I'm going to toss that. Here's another Fleur de Lis border. Let's save that Fleur de Lis border. I mean, you could do so much with these magazines. Uh, in January, we did a glue book inspired by Shelley at Crafting Mamas. Here's some more pictures up here. I might try to do some of those lost relatives based off of old photographs like what you see in the like these up here i think that would be fun to do and do them barbo and style um i have to think about it though i think it would be fun to do we'll cut them out and i'm not saving everything i see i could now here's well, it's kind of small. New England sweet steak. Primitive in progress. Sleeping room. Keeping room. That's what my room is in here. It's a keeping room. Houseware haven. Ooh, see, I like this shelf. I like this entire page. I'm going to pull it out. I'm not going to. But see, something like this would be nice in a shadow box, a two-dimensional shadow box. This whole page is cool. Let's take all of these and put them here. And see, things like this. Let's just cut this out here. Small but mighty. I like that saying. Small but mighty. We'll save this. And I'm going to save that. Small but mighty. Journal spot. Small but mighty. Save that. I like that. Uh, let's pull this out. I like this trunk, but not as a trunk, as a as a wooden piece. Now it's kind of cut on a angle. But we'll see. I like it as a background wood piece. Yeah, simply. 
be cozy. It's a house. Things like these. These appeal to me, but things like this. This is for, this is the house we prayed for. Our long-awaited home. It's painted on a board. This is the home that we prayed for. As much as I want to keep some of this stuff. And here it is again over here. I don't think I'll save that one. But I think I'll save these coffee cups on a shelf. And, and something like this. Daily Grind Fresh Brewed Coffee. And then I'm going to save the... It's a coffee bar. It's kind of cool, but I want the I want the shelving here. And I think I just want here maybe cut it right there. And then I'll decide later. Like that. And then here is another one. And there's pictures over here. Those are kind of small. Dream come true. Because these are pictures, they, they are photographed at angles. So when I cut them out, I'm not cutting. You would think I was cutting a rectangle, but really I'm cutting it at a... At an angle like that. Alrighty. Rhonda says she gives up on correct spelling. I understand perfectly. There's a checkerboard in there. a barrel. Some of this stuff appeals to me, but I can't save it all. I like to look at it. They did a pumpkin arch there, a Halloween arch over their door. That's all for autumn gatherings. Craft it yourself. A jolly jack-o'-lantern art. It's all about Halloween. Kind of like that. Oh, here's a big picture here. I, When you say pictures, look for the larger ones. Because I found that when you put them in, the, in a two-dimensional shadow box and just cut them out small, you kind of have to figure out what you're looking at. But a larger one, you know it's a, a painting. That'll make a nice two-dimensional shadow box piece. That's what I'm going for. Two-dimensional two shadow box stuff. Here's some wreaths. Reminds me of the fabric wreath that Becky made. She did a good job of it. Now we're getting into the curtains and stuff country decor 
quilts. That star is kind of cool. Let me save the star. And toss that. Bed spreads. Oh. I kind of like that. Of course, this is all country style. Country decorator. But if you mix it up with other stuff, you can, like, uh, glassware and stuff like that you can really make some interesting shadow boxes now this happens to be the country sampler magazine i also have a, a cottage magazine two cottage magazines that i got and i don't save much out of the furniture stuff pumpkin picking Pillows. There's an old suitcase down in here. I like that old suitcase. And of course, it's cut at an angle, but we'll save it out. I'm, dealt, I'm about through this one. Ooh, there's a pretty. And then there's the chandeliers. Delve into the books. Online marketplace. Follow us on Pinterest. I cannot endure to waste anything so precious as autumn sunshine by staying in the house. So I spent almost all the daylight hours in the open air. That's cool. Let's say that. And there's that magazine. Out of that magazine, what I snipped out is this. Let me get them out. That's pretty good, considering Mary. And what? when I'm going to throw away, and I'm going to throw it away, I honestly am because... I like this haul, though. A haul. I can take a haul. And I save that word. Alright, we're going to throw this stuff away. Yep, I really am. Yeah, I have to harvest. We're going to have to throw some stuff away. We can't keep it all. Where's my tot bag? What did I do with my bag? Uh-oh, I lost my trash bag. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Is that it? Yes. Let me throw this in the toss-out bag. And we'll continue on. Now the next one is a Christmas issue. So we'll be getting into some Christmas stuff. Five festive tomes. Country decor. I like the feather tree. Oh, look at those trees. They did rope around finials. I might save that just for the idea. I did the brown tree still up in our living room. I took the Christmas decorations off of it. Ooh, that's pretty. I can't save all this. I like the grandfather clock, though. Let's save that. Or the clock. That'll make a nice shadow box piece.
old-fashioned Santa Clauses. There was that piece. I saved that from the other one. Christmas trees. We could do a Christmas shadow box, but I'm, I'm not into that as much. I like I like this. We'll cut this entire piece out here. And I'll deal with that later. Kitchen items. I guess if it were December, this would be of more interest to me, but since it's not, I'm kind of going through this one kind of fast. Bed bedding. Some shelving in there. What's on the back? Let's tear this up. And cut this. And it all of a sudden becomes a part of my shadow box. My two-dimensional shadow boxes. There we go. Renee says there's a lot of folk art. Yeah, in these country magazines, there's a lot of folk art in these. That's true. They're country decor magazines. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to say, oh. I'm going to save this just because I like that. I'll probably, I'm not sure I'll use it in a shadow box, but. And let's say, this is kind of dark, but we're going to save this. Shadow boxes sometimes have dark spaces in them. We'll just cut it off there. That's why it's called a shadow box. Dry good. Oh, look, there's a Sam. No, that's just a... Let's cut this dry good piece out. Now, I like to also mix it up with maybe old photographs, old Tim Holtz photographs. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe we'll do one. Oh, see, like this. I like these old colonial pictures. And I think it would be fun to take something like this and watercolor lost relatives, like what Becky was doing last night. I might do that when I get... I should put it on my idea book. I should get out my Society of Idea Collectors and start collecting some of these ideas. Perfect pairings. Yeah. Let's cut this shelving off. I like shelvings. I'll cut it right up a little here. Well, let's cut it this way. I like the shelving. Yeah, I find they make nice shadow box. Ready-made shadow box. And there's a picture in there, but it's awfully small. There's one there not kind of hard to see it it's a uh, it's George Washington on his white horse it's kind of hard to see but it'll make a nice shadow box piece two-dimensional shadow boxes I did an entire blue book on two-dimensional shadow boxes I should get that out maybe I should do another journal on two-dimensional shadow box journal Maybe that's what I'll do. I could take a magazine and fold it up. Here's another picture. I love these pictures. They make good. They make good shadow box items. So when I get old. <laughs> er, and I 
have to be in a nursing home, I'd better have magazines around me because I'll be cutting them up. I'll be going through and say, ooh, look at this. Oh, look at that. It says believe. Keep it. And they'll have to kick me out of my room because I'll have so much junk in there. I'm going to save this. That'll make a nice shadow box piece. I'll cut it down later. And even these swans. And there's some more pictures here. Let's save this. Some more colonial pictures. I love colonial art. I love the colonial art. I'm trying to get better at doing colonial inspired pieces but as simple and folk art sheets as it looks it's really not that easy to paint those i did those children i'm not so sure that i did and it it uh, amazes me this one lady did a she paints on she painted miniature watercolors about an inch by a half inch, beautiful children on ivory with watercolor. We're gonna save this one. Now this, I just happen to be in the Country Decor magazine now. It's not all gonna be Country Decor. It just happens to be the magazine I'm cutting up right now. I'm thinking it would be fun to mix some of these with some Tim Holtz photos, though. And I might just start me a two-dimensional art journal. Two-dimensional two shadow box art journal. I kind of like those drawers. Let's see. If you cut them, if you cut them apart, they take on a different look than a dresser. Than a dresser. They look like they would fit in a shadow box. See, that they don't look like a dresser as much anymore. Kind of interesting back. Okay, this is all going to get tossed. I'm going to close my eyes and toss it if I can find my bag. I've got a whole stack of stuff out in the other room to go through, but we'll just go through these this morning. I just got two more to go through. Seaside style cottages. This is from the library. So this is not, this is mo more modern decor. Seaside style. And there's doors and tables. I like the picket fence. Let's save the picket fence as maybe a border. I like the house, but I'm going for the picket fence. Kind of cool. See stuff like this? There's wicker chairs. What's on the back here? Let's save this. This is more modern style. And of course it's cut on the slant again. That's the one thing about cutting these out of the magazine there. They're not always perfect squares. That's kind of cool. And we'll toss this. But look at this. An oyster world. This lady paints in the... An artist embellishes finds from the sea. 
with coastal. So these are these are cool. You've heard the saying, the world is your oyster. She paints the inside of oysters. We're going to save these. I don't know if I would put those in a shadow by mine. There's more of them on the back. I want I want to save this. I want to save that wicker. I want to save this wicker piece. And I might as well save the, the dishes up here, whatever they are, pottery. I don't know if I, I'll use them for something. And I want to save the wicker rocking chair. And I should save those, but that beautiful homes. Sometimes I look at this and I imagine myself, and I've done this before. I imagine myself in these scenes. Like I imagine myself sitting on that and I'll paint a picture of me sitting on there. Maybe doing some art journaling. The right stuff. Let's cut that out the right stuff, a journal spot, the right stuff, let's kind of whack it out, double your inspiration, double the inspiration, that's what happens when you go online, you double the inspiration. Your home deserves double the inspiration. There's a going, nice journal spot. History and heritage. Some more pictures. Let's cut these pictures out. I'm just going to cut around them for right now, and then when I fussy cut them out, I'll trim them out. Pictures on a wall make nice shadow box items. Windows do. Windows. Uh, this is all bedroom and kitchen. Big ideas for a small home. Seaside. The seaside, all dressed up. Some pictures, but they're at such an angle. If you like the sea, the whites and the blues. Coastal cottage. There's an American flag. I might say that. Make a nice shadow box item. Whoops. like that. I'm sure I'm missing a lot, but I can't save it all. I kind of like that frame. I could put something in there. Make a nice shadow box item there. And I'm just whacking it out. I'm not fussy cutting. I'm just harvesting. Mm -hmm. 
in living color. Nothing speaking to me. I like those. I wish they were bigger. Kind of an old trunk. I wish that were more up front. Nothing is speaking to me. Say la vie. That kind of said something to me, I guess. I noticed it. Let's cut it out. Might make a little shadow box piece. Oh, I cut the plates off the wall. Shouldn't have done that. I should have checked the back. Swimming suit and fins. Swimming suit and fins. I'm not going to save it, but... Summer house story time. There's some boats. Let's save that picture. The shadow box item. Just snipping it out for right now. I might do one shadow box page before I leave. Joyce says, Christmas magazines are good for those getting those extra photos. You might need to convey your story. Yes. Ooh, I love that color. This is the color in here that I'd like to have our kitchen. Maybe a little bit lighter than that. Uh, more like this area right up in here the blues maybe a little bit lighter and then have blue because um, we've got green on our woodwork now and I hate the green woodwork well I don't hate it but I don't like it either okay so there's that magazine gone let's do this one the, these are cottage well let's toss these before I get tempted Toss it in the, the toss-out sack before I get tempted to keep it. Uh, let me adjust the chair here. There, that's much better. All right, the simple life. What can I find in here? I love that home. I love the front of that house. I'm going to save it just because I like it. I got a little cottage house here. I won't go on a shadow box page. That'll inspire me. Now see this cabinet wood. This cabinet, if you cut it out right, it makes a nice shadow box piece. And as filling in on a shadow box. Hmm. Like so. There. And let's see. There's a wooden swing. Oh, look at these. I'm going to save this page. Clock and a Post like that to cookbooks and things. I'll save that entire page. Decide later. Post war style. Here's some more retro. Retro. Refrigerator, oven. We'll save these out just because. Retro. And then there's stoneware. I'm getting hungry. I might have to eat a bite before I take off. Yeah, I like it all, but I can't keep it all. I might tear this out. Some of this stuff, I just it inspires me, but I can't keep it. They're talking about hardware. These are my nice steampunk pages. Maybe I'll take this one, too. Steampunk with that hardware. Okay. Flip through fast, Mary, and you'll forget what you saw. Oh, I like the checkerboards. I usually see those in the country magazines. Let's save the checkerboards. 
Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Piece of... <laughs> I, I don't know what must have been hanging on something. It fell. It fell in front of me. It scared me. Save the checkerboards. There's one there. And one. Yeah. One here. I'm meeting Tanya and Jeff for lunch. And I'm already hungry. <laughs> Here's a nice item. Oh, look in that cabinet, too. Which one do I want? I can only save one. I think I prefer the green, although this is cool. Let's save this one. Now, I won't use all of these just because I'm cutting them out. I'm just cutting them to, I'll use them, eventually use them. And I can actually cut this one here. Yeah, I pretty much destroyed that one, but I got this one down here. I'm going to snip it. Uh, I like the cabinets. I like pictures on the wall, checkerboards, old pictures of old relatives, bowls on the shelf. I wish that were bigger. Here's a picture. I like my pictures to be fairly large, though. And see how they're they're photographed at an angle, so you aren't going to get a perfect square when you do this. You have to fill something in behind it. Alrighty. That's pretty cool. Let's save this. And we can only, we'll just save part of it. Like that. And I don't think I'll save the jugs up at the top. I'm just going to save that. Make a nice shadow box item. Cabinets. Round mirrors. Hats. I'm going to save the hat. The hat's hanging. We'll just cut them out this way for now. Picnic. Nantucket. I'm almost done here. And then I'll put together something of all this stuff I cut out. Treasures and tradition. I love that staircase. This is neat. Yep, I'm cutting off the legs. It's just a picture. It's nice cabinetry. I'm envisioning it. All right. Plates on the wall there. There's that cottage again. It's a cute cottage. They redecorated it. There's some more cabinets, but I think I got enough. Now I like this page. 
it caught my eye when I was browsing. No vacancy. And then there's a... It almost looks like it's Battenberg lace over here with a lace edge on the door, hung across the doorway there. And I'm going to cut out that no vacancy sign. No vacancy. My art room is stuffed full. And I'm going to save this. And I'll just cut it right here. And I'd like to save this flea market, but it's hard to read. And look at that old screen door. Let's cut out the screen door. And look at the gingerbread up here. I'm going to save it just because it's cool. And I'll even save the number. Let's save that whole piece. And I could even save those windows, but no. So we're designing a bathroom. Mirror, big old mirrors. Garden party. Double duty. Nice shelving in there. Let's cut this out. All right. And then I'll put something in that. Make a shadow box out of it. Like that. I wish I could save it all. I wish I had room. And I kind of like this. about through this. I think I'm to the end. All right, let's toss this one. Now, let's see what I have. Let's, I'll tell you what I'm tossing. I'm tossing all of this. Yes, I am. I'm tossing it all. It all goes in the trash today. What did I save? Well, I saved, I saved these. And I saved these from the Country Magazine. Let me just kinda straighten them up a little. Why did I save that? I think that's trash. Some more country. Some are in a jar. Confessions of a historical Saturday drive. I like the Saturday drive stuff. And then I saved my National Geographic stuff here. And these are just empty envelopes. So this is what I saved out of that stack of magazines. I think I did pretty good. So what I want to do... I'll have to come out and chat here for a bit, but let me get my... Oh, they happen to be right here. I'm going to mix them with some Tim Holtz photos, some ephemera, and what's this? Maybe I'll even use my Distress Crayons. came from Deborah Brown, and maybe I'll mix a piece of fabric in with it. And... Now, 
I was thinking some silk ties, but maybe not. And here's a Tim Holtz photo. I'm looking over here what I have. Mm -hmm. Here's a photo of ladies in a swimsuit. I think these were some vintage cards that I was going to make. I'm looking. I've been sorting out stuff. I've been sorting out stuff. Believe it or not. Now I need a good base. Maybe I'll use a piece of black, a big piece of black paper. I ordered this really strong. It's got a white spot on it, but I'm going really strong. Um watercolor paper well it's I guess you call it water it's black paper but it's really thick and strong but I don't think I want it quite this large for an art journal so I think I'll almost cut this in half and then fold the half in half and we'll do we'll do some shadow boxes Let's trim this first. Let me get a hold of all my stuff. Yep. I got it stacked up on top of my wastebasket. <laughs> I just, you know, I get inspired like this. I can't stop. I can't stop. I got to do it. But you saw everything that I threw away, didn't you? Yep, you did. All right. So this is, I think, 11 by 17. So eight and a half would be halfway. Eight and a half would be halfway. So I can get it on there. And I can even do that library card stamp. I could mix some stamping up in here. Eight and a half. I could put some of my rusty fabric on it. Or fabric washi. Could really make some interesting. Oh, that seems a little bit bigger than eight and a half. Oh well, we'll cut this one at eight and a half. We'll make them eight and a half. Did I cut that at eight and a half or seven and a half? I cut it at eight and a half. This must be, this must be wider than 14. Eight and a half and eight and a half is 17. I don't know why. Oh, well, let's see. Let's cut this at eight and a half. This must be Eight and a half and eight and a half is 17. This must be 18 inches wide because I've got an inch strip left, which is good. We'll use it for something. Now I could do the journal like this and it would make nice shadow box. So maybe I will. And let's, let me put this away. Now, I'm going to stop and come out and chat, because once I get started on this, I know I'm going to go into my zone, so I'm coming out. I'm going to chat. I'm coming out. What are you guys talking about? Hi, Ann. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Ann. Oh, bye, Terry. Have a good day. Terry L. was here. She says, got to go. I hope everyone has a good day. Janet Nash is here. She says, good morning, Rhonda. We are well, thank you. I all hope all okay is with you and your family. i got to watch my time. It's almost a quarter till eight. I can go for about another hour. 
That'll give me enough time. Oh, Janet Nash says, good morning. Angie says, Mary, if I had words, I have a die cut. Friends, and if you're not a part of Fibsville Friends, you can have Arlene send it to you, or I could send it to you. But my address is in the Fibsville Friends group. And if you're not a part of Fibsville Friends, you should be. <laughs> Mary, can I go with you? Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to be taking photos or... Um, video. I'm kind of camera shy to tell you that I don't mind showing you guys my hands and my and my hair clip. <laughs> but I don't know about I'm I'm not sure I want a video. I don't know how Tanya feels about it. We'll see. Will you be able to find anything tomorrow? Anytime I clean up I lose everything. That's so true. Me too, Angie. Angie's cleaning off her her can't keep it all question mark this is a lot like folk art that was popular in the 90s but better <laughs> kathy said i'm working on vintage journals right now so buying vintage papers when i can find good ones and you had some good stuff that i think will be great in journals i don't know who she's talking to renee and i will be returning for more oh she's talking to red wagon in the etsy shop i think Lost relatives would be fun. See, yeah, lost relatives from, well, like photos. It would be kind of fun. And I'm, I like those idea of taking those old colonial pictures and converting them into lost relatives. And I mean your relatives that you never got to know. Like your great, 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 what does my, I know that my grandmother I think it would be my dad's, even maybe like my dad's great-grandmother was Indian. And it could be his great-great-grandmother someplace in there during the, well, no, I think it would be, I don't think it would be during the Revolutionary War. I think it would be during the Civil War, so it can't be that long ago, uh, 200 years, maybe 175 years ago. The Civil War was in 1865, 1965. 2000, uh, yeah, probably about 150, 170 years ago uh, on, my, on my dad's side. Well, they tell, the story in the family is it might be pre-Civil War because it can't, it, it might be uh, mid-1800s because the story in our family goes is, is that she walked the Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears is when they forced the Cherokee Nation out of southern, southern United States into Oklahoma. My dad was born in Oklahoma. And the way I understand it, the way I understand it is somewhere in there, one of my dad's grandfathers was um, wounded in, in a battle and had to have his leg cut off. And it took five men to hold him down. That's the fam story in the family. Now, whether that, how true that is, that's just what I heard from my, from my dad um, that, uh, it took five men to hold him down to cut off his leg. Of course, I imagine it was done by a medical, an army medic. But uh, the story is that she she nursed him back to health or something, and they got married. That's the story in the family. Well, how true that is, I don't know. I wish that I would know. But see, I could imagine, and I like to sit here and think, I like to sit here and think, what did she like? Uh, if she was, if she was an Indian and truly walked the trail of tears, what kind of things did she see along the way? What birds did she see? What colors did she like? What berries did she eat? Uh, 
how did she make her her clothing um you know obviously she got married and you know uh how did she raise her kids what you know she obviously raised kids or my dad wouldn't be around and I like to sit here and think how fun it would be to sit down and talk to her and talk to her like I'm talking to a friend and find out about her history. Uh, how did she really feel about my my dad's grandpa? Did she really love him? Or, you know, I'd love to hear how they met. Well, I think I kind of know from, but I'd ask her if that was all true. And uh, what did she like to eat? Did she ever taste chocolate? Um, did she ever have a cup of coffee with creamer in it? Well, or with cream from the cow, probably. Or maybe it was buffalo milk. I don't know. Did she live in a teepee? Uh, did she ever bead? Um, did she have braids? What color were her eyes? I imagine they were a dark color if she was Indian. How old was she? You know, when did she pass away? You know, I'd love to know all about that. We lose so much of our history. Uh, none of that stuff None of that stuff passes on, even of my own mother. Now, I know of my mother, a lot of things about my mother, but I should write it down for my grandniece that, you know, uh, little stories. I, I got some writings about my dad, things that my dad would say, like hop to it and stuff like that. But I don't know if my grand needs to be interested in it, but at least it would be give her a little knowledge about her her great-grandparents. So, let's see. What else is going on in here? I got off into a little warpath there. Mary says, I put up a plant video yesterday. Oh, we're talking about Mary, too, had a plant sale. Hi, Jersey. Welcome. Oh, Ann is leaving. Bye, Ann. I hope it's a popular visit. Uh, she has a dentist. Oh, a positive visit. She has a dentist appointment. Bye. Be good to that dentist. Don't bite him. <laughs> oh, dear. Arlene says, I come from a hard-headed lot. Well, so we come from a stubborn lot. I have to tell you, if you guys didn't know it, we're stubborn in our family. <laughs> and they refuse to walk the Trail of Tears. They hold out in the mountains. Most of my Cherokee relatives are still here in Tennessee and Carolina. Yep. I think, uh, yeah. Uh, I think she walked the trip because they got to Oklahoma. My dad was born in Oklahoma. But I think my mother's side of the family came from Tennessee. Uh, not my mother's, my dad's mother my dad's grandmother side of the family um what i want to say that was on my dad's grandfather's side of the family because he married the cherokee they called her a cherokee princess but she was probably just a cherokee squaw <laughs> i hate the word squaw an indian maiden um on my mother on on his mother's his grandmother's side of the family, I do think they came from Missouri and Tennessee, the way I understand. Hi, Marjorie. Good morning. It's going to be a great day. It is. I'm going to meet Tanya and Jeff for lunch. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Let's see. Jersey came in and she's saying hello to everybody. Hi, Nina. Good morning, Nina. Hi, Ada. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you join us. Janet Nash is here. Angie, Ada, Janet Nash. Hi, she spins. Hi, I'm Juanita. I got to get your ties out in the mail. I want to mail ties. That's been on my radar. And I want to mail um, Arlene. I got some things I want to mail to Arlene. And I want to mail Lori's uh, Blaze dog picture. I know Lala. Lala's been asking for her dog picture, but I'm going to have to message you about that dog picture, Lala, if you're out there lurking. I need a better picture of him uh, to get a better view of your little doggy. Otherwise, you'll get a, you'll get a half of a nose. <laughs> Anne said good morning to everybody, but I think she's gone to the dentist. Nope. 
Nikan was in here. She says she doesn't think she's ever seen a two-dimensional shadow box. I have done these before. Let me put you guys back up on the stand and let's start laying out something. Let's start laying out a, a two-dimensional with this. And let's see, I saved off all my cuttings. So let's just do one page. That's probably all I'll get done. And let's pick out some things. Swimsuit ladies. Maybe a Tim Holtz photograph. I'm going to skip National Geographic. And let's pick out some stuff out of this. Uh, this is all the country stuff. Let's put maybe some Tim Holtz ephemera. Might look nice on it. Let's take this label off. I like that these labels can come off. I don't like the ones that are printed directly on. I like the ones I can peel off. Truth is simple. The, the simple act of taking a truth is the simple act of taking a hike can be a life-changing activity one step at a time. Yeah, it can be, but you have to be careful where you're hiking these days. I don't like to even go on a walking path alone. <laughs> Summer in a Jar, Confessions of a Reader. Here's that horse. That's more glue. This is more glue book stuff here. Let me get down to my, the heart of a home. Yeah. This is more glue book. Oh, that kitty's cute. My sister and I were always playing with new kittens. This is all, let's get down to my... I have to maybe put this in between to keep them flat. Excuse me why I read just stuff here. I got stuff down at the bottom here. That's where my stuff is. There's the birds and the buffaloes and the sand hills. <sighs> Home on the road. I was saving some travel stuff. All right. So something like that, and I don't know about the fleur-de-lis or the gingerbread. I like the screen door. I love this, this one. Hats on a wall. So I'm, I'm just going through maybe some of these old pictures, some cabinetry, the checkerboards. I'm just kind of sorting out. I got no vacancy sign. Faucets for steampunk. I didn't even see that trellis type stuff. Here's the vintage, the vintage kitchen finds. Okay, here we're into some more. Uh, now. Pictures. Here's a sailboat. Say la vie. American flag. The right stuff. We'll say that. Maybe that. Picket fence. We we'll might say here's some Silent Night Christmas stuff. We won't say the Chris. I mean, we won't put the Chris. Here's some. Photos, photos, I like the old photos, and I get to dry goods, I get to arranging this stuff, you get to arranging it, and it really turns out kind of fun, stuff on a shelf, uh, here's a clock, here's the Christmas Feather tree. I'm going to save this for next year's inspiration. Christmas. Hall. Oh. Hall. Oh. Uh, here's those X's and O's. Iron skillets. Some little pieces here. Crate. 
And I saved this just because I liked it. Oh, there's more. I saved this whole piece. And let's see. Door, pillow, suitcase, photograph, coffee cups. Why I saved that. Small but tiny. Dry goods. Small photos. I like that. Deer. Okay. So, let's put all this stuff here aside. I'll deal with that later. Uh, but I don't want a craft lunch in here. So now, I want to start arranging on here. Now, I'm not going to get all of this on here. I'll pick and choose. But I want, I want to pick out the photos like this. And did I have another one in there? I had those. And let's pick out some ephemera. Let's pick out some. I'll probably get, be getting some more Tim Holtz stuff today because it's on sale. At least it's on sale this time. So maybe this postcard. And that's just stuff. Calling cards. Here's a ink pen, stub pen. And here's some vintage postcards. They're not going to go on here, but they're cool. What's this? Vintage. There's an eye chart. These are bigger than I anticipate. I could cut that down. There's a typewriter in there. What's that? Let's save that one out. These are pretty big. Let's save those out. And let's grab some photos. Probably some of these smaller ones. Although I could put some bigger ones on there, but let's see what I have here. I like the gentleman. Little girl. Oh, that one's cute. And maybe the lady. That's enough out of there. Let me put these back. So I can find the opening. And let me put this stuff aside. All right. So let's decide what I want. As a shadow box, I don't know about these. I wanted to sketch these. That's why I was saving it. And a postcard. And maybe, maybe the gentleman. Something like that. And maybe that. And that's a parcel post. And just because I saved it out doesn't mean I'm going to use it. Now, let's go to my magazine images and see what I want. I want it all, but I got to see what works on this page. I don't know about this lace. We'll think about it. Maybe not on this one. Yeah, I kind of like this round deer. Let's cut that out. Let's fussy cut this. Now, if I make a journal page, I got to leave a border maybe of about three fourths of an inch. I could put the postcard there, but I maybe I'll bring it down a little and put something in there. Uh, fussy cut this out. 
And if I do a journal page, I can also do the back of this. And imagine this. Now, on some of those, I have some larger two-dimensional chattel boxes that I did. We did them as, a, as kind of a challenge project. But they're almost too large. They were done on, I think, 15 by 11-inch paper. I still have them somewhere. But I think I'm going to make a journal. Something like an old photo, but it'd be nice to have wooden washi tape, wood washi tape, to actually make, divide the pages. But the problem with washi tape is that it doesn't uh, stick that good. I need something to represent wood shelving in here is what I need. I almost think I could take this one off and just have these and put this up in here, like so, maybe. Uh, let's see what else I have. I like the... Uh, I've got some old photos. Small but mighty. And these are just from things that I cut out today. Coffee cups. I like that picture. There's a suitcase. Here's a star pillow. Skillets. What are these? Little wreath and a... A little bird, kind of like the little bird. X's and O's. There's the clock. All of this stuff could work here. I like these too. I like that. And here's a George Washington picture. I also like that. Oh, I like it all. <laughs> all right. Let's see what fits on here, though. Those are the things that I pulled out. Everything else is... I need to put it in a... All this stuff I pulled out, let me put in a, a folder. I have a folder. I have a folder. Let me put it, I'll put them in here. Get them off my desk and I'll work with this stuff again another time. And what I don't use, we'll go back in here. The other sheet, the other half sheet here and we'll just start working with a, a journal. And I would love to have some wood, some wood washi tape, just really thin stuff that I could separate. But I don't. I could draw it, but it wouldn't look. I need some thin, thin washi tape, and I don't think I have, I don't think I have anything See, I was using stuff like this, and you have to get it glued down good where it comes up. Let me look in here, see if I have anything that appeals. I got some of this Tim Holtz. These are cigar bands, though. I'm not sure I'm sold on cigar bands. I mean, for this, they look good with the men. I need some thin stuff. Mm, something like this. Something like this. That gold might work. Uh, I don't know how sticky that is. 
that, or this might work too. Here's some Tim Holtz, but it's pretty wide. Oh, I need the skinny stuff. I want the skinny mini paper clips. Somebody sent me those. There's some more of that. There's some X's. That one might work. Some more X's. I'm not sure where I got All right. Oops, I dropped one. I don't know where it went. I'll look for it later. Oops, let's put these away. Yeah. So. Close the drawer. Okay, so out of this, I think these are whiter. I like this, but I like the paper clip. Let's open these up. I like the gold one and maybe the yellow one. I am very busy, it says. The blue one isn't going to show up very much. Oh, let's fold that back up. Close it up and put that away. Now, these are a little bit wider. I'll look for some skinny stuff when I go today. I kind of like the paper clip ones and the gold. The gold appeals to me. I'm not sure how much of it is there is here. The paper clip appeals to me too. All right. So let's put that aside. And I cut these off. Do I want to save them? No, I think I'll toss those. And let's put this one aside. And decide which piece I want to say. That one. And this one. I like the clock. Put that one aside. Small but mighty. I don't have to put put them on the same. I kind of like the deer up here with him. I could cut that down just a little bit more. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have to eat something before I go. Of course, it'd be nice to be hungry when I get up there. Now go, Mary. You're gobbling all the food eaten in a coon's age. But I streamed this morning and it made me hungry. All right, let's put that in. Now they might fit like that. But I want to get that washi tape in there. But I could put it like across here. There. See, I don't know if I have enough. Let's just arrange it first. And I like the pictures. And I could put the small but mighty like that. Let's cut it down a little.
Now, you could do things like put a, um, you know, a, oh, like cut out one of these swans and, and put it on the shelf. And I might do that. I've got some pictures there. Let's save these. Or we could tuck this in on, like this on one of them, like you were actually tucking it in. And even let it go across his him a little like that make it look like a shadow box maybe the picture in there I might cut that down a little and the clock I'll save these things a little bird we got a teeny little bird here and it's just a matter of arranging things Let's cut this clock out. And I think I'll still get the flame, but it won't be as obvious. It'll be there, but it won't be as obvious. What time is it? I've still got enough time to finish this up. See, here's Mary off on another project. Just as if I don't have enough going, I have to start something else. And I was telling Becky yesterday, I just can't do another thing. Here I am. But I get inspired. And I wanted to get rid of those magazines. And as I was looking through the magazine, well, I kind of knew I wanted to do a two-dimensional shadow box. I haven't done this for a while. I got all sorts of fussy cuts that I can put in two-dimensional shadow boxes, pages, journal. And of course, this will be a loose leaf until I get it bound. Yeah, I can't see where this goes. I'm thinking it goes like this. I have to get that up to my nose. Comes down like that. Like that. Oh, that's not cut very good. I have to get it up to my nose. Let's see where my scissors are going here. There we go. That's a little better. No, this doesn't look right to me. That's better. Well, no, it's not either. Yeah. See, but, but now if this were sitting on a shelf, there would evidently be something like a decorative item behind it that we'll we'll get to that let's cut this little bird out more little glass vase with flowers i might have to go back through some of my magazines again and pick out some flowers or something and put in here so i kind of have an idea i need something tall in there i kind of have an idea i need something else in there what do I want? This can be what's on here. Oh, those are Christmas. That's Christmas. Let's toss that. I need something right in there. Ooh, this. It's almost too big, though. Maybe this little one. Let's cut this one out. right in there and we'll save that one so let's put all of these back before I get too inspired back in my package what did I do with my package come on I just had it a minute ago where'd I put it 
right here. We'll, we'll make another package again out of this stuff until I use it all up. Alrighty. So now I want to do the shelving. What do I do with that gold? And this is where it gets tricky because I know this isn't going to stick. Most of the time it doesn't. Where does it start? Here. I mean, even if it sticks, it pulls up later. So what I want to do is get a, let's do the, like this. Hopefully I can do this. A length of it, come on. Well, yeah, I could tape it down like that. And maybe a little bit longer. So it'll go across my page. Hold that down for me. And I'm going to run my glue stick over it. I'm going to glue down my tape. Because I think it'll have a better chance of sticking. And then I want to take it and I'm going to move all these over a little. And this, this would be where it'd be nice to have my board out. Let's see if I can get my board out here. Hold that for me. Out of this. reach for it. Oh, and as I reach, everything falls. Painter's tape fell on the floor. And let's let's slip this board under here. There we go. So I can get this halfway straight on here. Or I can kind of get a better idea of if it's as straight or not. Get it as straight as I can. And turn it over. And maybe right, right about there maybe. It isn't going to be perfect, but Mary doesn't do perfect. Mary doesn't do perfect, but it's all right. And hopefully that will stick. Now I have some foil, uh, adhesive foil I could use too, but we're going to do this today. And let's snip this off. I'm going to look for some more. This is, I doubt if it's in the dollar store now. This was dollar store washi. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Now we have to do one over on this side. We have to do the top. So we're going to have to scrunch some of this together. This one might have to go. And we'll put the small but mighty in here. And maybe put this like this and maybe, yeah. Maybe like that. It still needs something in there. I'll find something to put in there. And let's just leave this kind of tacked to the table here. And let's do this side. I need to move some of this stuff. I got too much stuff. <laughs> these are stamps that I stamped these out earlier in the morning. 
Let's do this one. What time is it? I gotta watch my time. And these washies can really go back in the drawer. I'm gonna look for some skinny washi tape today. Whoops, no, I kept the gold out. I'm sure I can get some skinny stuff that, oh look, I saved these. I was gonna make some vintage cards. Dolls to delight American daughters. I still might do that. Let's put these in that folder. Let me do that while I'm talking about it. I've got some more of these over on my desk. I think those were those swimsuit ladies that I had out. Okay. So let me glue. Let me glue another piece here. Oh, I like that flower, but he's not fitting. I'll save him out. And this really needs to be... I'm not sure it's going to fit. I might have to let this be over the edge of the shelf. You know, something like that. Let's just move this stuff to the here. And I need this to be about a half an inch. Well, I need to move it clear over because I need to... Open up my washi. And let my glue stick down the... Uh, of course, you want to do this on a clean surface or you'll get crud on it. I don't know if I can get that off. Come on. This is where I need more than two hands. Okay. Just enough to tack it down. And we're going to run this one. Right. On this line. And maybe that page needs to go. And it could go over a little. Pick it up again. Right about there. Yeah, that's where I had that. Come on. All right. Now, we want to do the... See that? That's... I'm not sure. As much as I like that, I'm not sure that that's going to fit. Where's my flower? I need something to fit in there. I need something to fit in there. I might have to go back and look. A, a vase would be nice in here. Some sort of a flower or a vase or something. I like this, but he's too big. And I like this. That would be nice. Maybe with a vase down in there. Just like you're arranging a shadow box. Something like that. Let's do this bottom shelf. Oh, I'm up too high, aren't I? My camera is off. Let me let me adjust my camera. Let me adjust the camera. Let's point it that way a little. Is that better? Yeah. Now, 
Okay, let's do the bottom shelf. It's not quite as wide. And I think I'll make it neat to... If I could just trust that this tape would stay sticky. But I don't trust it for this type of stuff. And it'll probably still pull up a little. I don't trust it. You should be able to, but washi tape is not meant to be, washi tape is not meant to be sticky tape. It's kind of meant to be a semi-sticky tape. I would love to have some wood grain. I bet you could buy some wood veneer. I don't know. I'd have to look. I don't know if you could buy it this thin. I'll bet you could buy it. I'll bet you it's on Amazon. I'll bet you it's on Amazon. Okay, I want this to go. As neat as I can right in there. Right like that. We'll pull these down a little. And let's snip it. And let's do the top one. The top one. About to there. I don't want to glue on my, I don't want to glue on my cutting board. Who is she talking to? Is that Lori? Yeah. Oh, there's Tanya. You're driving down the road? Tanya says she's driving down the road. Well, I'm planning on meeting you at 11 o'clock, Tanya. They're, they were in North Platte, so it'll take them an hour or so to get there. I'm planning on meeting you at 11 if you beat me there. <laughs> I'm not planning on leaving here until a little after 10. Well, maybe a little after. Uh, around 9.30. Around 9.30, I'll probably leave here. Because it, it'll take me maybe about 45 minutes to get up there. 9.30, 10.30. You might beat me there, Tanya. Enjoy the view. <laughs> she said they're up and going. Too bad the sandhill cranes aren't out. I'm still doing my stream. <laughs> They're on their way. I'm making a two-dimensional shadow box here. All right, so I've done the, the frame. I've done the frame. Now I need to put in the shelves. So I need one, two, three shelves. I only need, yeah, I need three. One, two, and three. So, let's do it under this one first. And we might put this one down, these down with double-sided tape would be a lot easier. Rather than a glue stick. What do I do with my tape? Whoa, where's my tape? I had it in my hands. Here it is. So, it's a little bit... I asked Tanya, I said, you guys probably go 70 or 80 miles down the interstate. No, Mary, you don't understand. We're driving an RV, then hauling a Jeep. Oh, 
<laughs> we go 60 miles an hour. I hope the wind isn't too high for them. Oops, I'm off on the... Yeah, I pulled these off. I know I could put that small but mighty up there and maybe put another picture. We'll see. I'll have to rearrange in there when I get it. When I get my shelving built here. I want to glue this. Oh, it sticks to my fingers, but I don't trust this to be very... And this glue stick's kind of wide, but I don't trust it to be very strong tape. Long-term strong. Okay, now let's put this up there as a guide. And we're just going to kind of, hopefully, tack it right in here and bring it across and my page is pretty straight I wouldn't say the pictures are that straight it needs to come down a little right there no it needs to come down a little bit more maybe a little bit more yeah well, you want black around him. And right about in there. What time is it? 8.33. I've got time to finish this up. I'm, I'm getting off here at 9. And then I'll run and get dressed and finish my coffee and take out of here. And I could put the small but mighty up in here. That's how that'll go. And this will go in. I've got another one. And that's going to be a quite a fit here. I could trim this frame down a little. I kind of like it like that. All right. One more shelf here. I'm going to put them up as close as I can to the... Let's trim this off a little more. I'm planning on meeting you at 11 o'clock, Tanya. Val says, good morning. She says, I'm going to want to go... The phone to stay charged. She's going to go. She wants to keep the phone charged up. Okay. I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> She's probably already off. They're heading down the road, and I'm not dressed yet. <laughs> but I will be, I'll take out of here. It'll take me about 45 minutes. If I leave, if I leave a quarter till 10, that would be 10, 30, 11. I'd get there by 11. 9.45. I have plenty of time. I'm not worried. They may have a little weight if they beat me there. All right. So those will go in there. And I might be able to fit that. Where's that pretty little piece? Oh, I put it up there. I might be able to fit something in there. Let's put this shelf on. And then I put, I'll put, I was planning on putting pieces in there, but I don't think I'm going to have enough room on this one to put a, a cubby hole. I could try it. I could try it, put a cubby hole in there. I might be able to, but we'll do that later. We'll do that when I attach them. Let's finish what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to look for some more of this small washi tape. I don't know if you can buy wood veneer this skinny. Oh, it caught on to my photo. I suppose I could go to a hardware store. I'm going to Menards today. I'll ask them if they have any wood veneer tape type stuff. Skinny. A fourth inch or skinnier. 
a fourth inch preferably it needs to be a little longer okay and I would imagine if they make wood veneer this skinny it's probably stickier than washi tape too and I wouldn't have to tape it look I got scrap on that I wouldn't have to glue it down I don't trust this I don't trust the washi to be sticky and I don't want to smear glue all over my page so I'm just kind of doing this haphazardly but I think I'm getting glue on it yeah so let's bring this down here and I'm putting it out to the edge right about there maybe is that too no I think I need to come down just a tidbit more that picture's cut on a slant right about there Now, will I have room for this? It's going to be a tight fit. Let's go up a little. I should measure this all out. I eyeball this stuff. I eyeball it. Now, nah, we'll put it like... Because I need to get that other... <laughs> jerked it out I need to get that other stuff to fit too see where I'm going with this yeah uh-huh that's what I mean. It's if you wanted it to st stick, it won't. And if you don't want it to stick, it's it's on you. Let's see if I can't glue some more of this down. Sherry, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this. I might have to take this out and put a skinnier piece in. Because it's not going to fit. I need a pretty glass vase or something behind here is what I need. I could tuck. I could tuck it. I was going to put that up there. I wanted to put this in here. That'll fit. That can hang on the wall, and we could tuck this in like this. Like it's, of course, that's awfully big. We could put that up there. Put my little bird up here. And put this down here. I could trim that just a little, or I could let it... I could let that clock kind of go under a little. No, that's not going to fit. I could trim that off just a little. Just enough for it to make the cut. Tanya says, Mary, we're coming. <laughs> we're on the road. We're on the road. We're on the road. I'm going to have to tape this down a little bit more. It's... I'm going to look for some veneer. I think I can find some wood veneer strips. Hi, Becky. You would get a better deal if you cut a sheet, if you bought a sheet of it and cut 
one fourth inch strips. That's a great idea, Becky. JL says, Mary, son-in-law had thin wood with some type of glue on the back that was activated by an iron. Oh, cool. I'm going to go to Menards today. You can get strips of veneer, Becky says. Hi, Becky. Tanya says, see you, Mary. Tanya says, I love you all and I miss you bunches. I'm going to look for wood veneer today. I like the idea of getting strips and I like the idea of cutting it into strips. Whoops, my little bird. My little bird. Uh, I still got 20 minutes to finish this. I take that clock in there. The bird in the clock, and we'll make this fit. If I can't make it fit, I'll get another piece. And I actually like the pieces here coming out to the edge of the paper. And I could have put them out to the edge here, but I didn't. So I'm going to look for wood veneer at the hardware store today. When I go to Menards, let's do this third piece here. And whatever fits, we'll, I might have to find other stuff to, to fit in there. We'll see. And I got my pieces up here. I should build my thing and then find pieces to fit what I build. But no, I usually build it around my pieces. <laughs> you don't build it. You don't gather your pieces and then build the shadow box. You get the shadow box and fill it with pieces that you find. But... You know, Mary's never does things how you do, how it's supposed to be done. Mary does things her way. Let's go down to the bottom. Yeah, Menards. Hi, Del Lobo. Hi, Candy. Yeah, Angie says she lives pretty close to Arlene. Yeah. So maybe they can meet up one of these days. Yeah, that's pretty skinny in there, isn't it? This is actually wider, and it even needs to come down just a little more. Just a tidbit more. Mary, how do you expect that glue to stay if you keep pulling it up? I don't know. There we go. That postcard is never going to fit in here. I'll have to find something else. Maybe one of those pretty calling cards. I kind of like the idea of these one on top of the other there. And... That was my last shelf. I, I like the idea of the clock being here. I could put that in there. I have to trim it up a little. Uh, put that in there. And the little bird goes there. See, this is going to be too big, so I'm going to find another piece for my bottom shelf. Let's find something for the... And I don't think... Just as a matter of time, I'm to make a true shadow box, you should have, I guess I could, you should have dividers in here. But on this one, I think I'll just leave it as a sh big, wide shelf this way, just as a matter of time. Let's see what I can find to put in here. Maybe I can find a little... I had those calling cards. Did I put those back in here? They were in here. I might have kept them out. Rubber stamps. Oh, look at that. That'll go on one. I'm saving that out. I think I saved out the bigger ones. I mean, I saved out the... These are all larger. I put the little ones in my bag. Let's save that one out. Uh, 
All right, these are too large. I think I put the little ones in the... I do like camera. Becky, do you remember doing these shadow boxes? I know that you did some, and then you cut them up. I think you did them as squares, and you cut them up. And made... I'm going to make a shadow box journal. Let's see what I have that will fit on that bottom shelf. I need pieces to fit the bottom shelf. It's too big. Here, these little pictures will fit in there. And maybe even these. And those are too big. These are just what I cut out of the magazine today. What I cut out of those two magazines. I got a here I've got a a piece. I got the picket fence. That would look cool, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I've got a dry goods sign. That's more a general store. There's a little wreath. Farmer's Market. Ooh, I got that too. I kind of like that. Oh, the American flag. All right, let's see what I got here. This is going to go up there. I kind of like the, I like the old photos. Let's put the American flag in there. Let's put it like that. I think I like that. And all of these will be saved for another time. Let's just put them back in here before I lose them. And all of these lovelies. And it's 8.45. I've got 10 minutes to take these down. Oops. And I'm going to put my washi tape in there, too. I'm going to look for some wood veneer today. All right. Let's put the lid back on my glue stick. And let's grab some tape. And I'm just using dollar store tape. I'm going to start up here. And this shouldn't take me 10 minutes. It might, though. But I'll hurry. Thank you. I'll, I'll talk to you while I'm doing this. I want to thank you all for coming. I tried to say hi to folks earlier, but if I didn't say hello to you hello and welcome and i'm glad you're coming in today is thursday i have no idea who's coming on next tuesdays i have a little bit of an idea with kathy berg uh, let's put this guy right in here like that and then we'll do the outside one next and then we'll put these in the center So I'm going to meet up with Tanya at 11. We're going to have lunch. And then I'm going to go to Menards and Hobby Lobby. And I think I'll stop at the Home Goods store. I usually don't stop at Home Goods. I'll probably stop at the Goodwill. I was thinking that I'd like to go to the Habitat for Humanity store. Uh, it's a restore. It's mostly kitchen cabinets and tiling and that type of stuff. It's not a thrift store. It's okay, so she's gonna go right up in right up in here. Right about like that. And then small but mighty, I think I'll go on top. Now if I can get a hold of it. Scraps. Small but mighty. 
And let me pull this off first. And then I'll put another one on top. Kind of overlap it. I should have told Tanya that I'm hungry. <laughs> We're going to meet up at, they got a, a pretty popular truck stop right off the interstate. And they're driving their RV, so they can't really go into town. Hopefully I'm getting this straight. Small, but no, of course not. Of course not. Can I get it up? I should have put my ruler down. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, I can't get a hold of it. Yeah, it's on there. I'm tearing it. I might be able to get it up enough to straighten it out. Oh, I'm messing it up. Let's just take it off. Small but mighty is not going on there. It didn't belong on there. That's why it messed up for me. And I'm going to get a tear in my paper. Now, that's what you get. I'm going to have to put something over that. How about one of these? The little girl. She'll fit on there. All right, we will do that. This is Mary's mess, messing around. I can't get things straight for love nor money. Oh, I can't even put this tape on straight. Now she's cut in an angle, so she's not going to be a perfect rectangle. These, When you find pictures hanging on the wall, they're never just perfect squares. They're hanging on the wall. Let's put her in here. Let's put her right, right in there. That's the way it's going to be. Now, what was I going to put in there? This. This one. This one? Oh, I was going to put that one up there. Well, that one fit. Trim this one down a little. Put them over on here and over on there. No, I don't like that. I need something else. We'll have to come back to this shelf. Let's do, let's do this shelf. Well, we could put that one up there and put that one like that. I kind of like that. It needs something in there. Maybe I'll find a vase. It needs, I'll find something for in there. Let's trim this. I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow morning. <laughs> Because it's, it's four, I, I got to leave. It's four minutes till nine. I was fooling around with this one. But you get the idea of a shadow box. And I on, on some of them, you can just build your shadow box and then fill it. And I might do that. I'm going to look for some wood veneer today. I like the idea of putting wood veneer. Now, I don't want the thick stuff. I want it to fit a journal page because these are going to be journal pages. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Hi, Malia. I hope you like what you choose. She said, I bought a purplish red color, Janet. That's how I get wild. Are you going to color your hair? Did you get your other surgery, Cheryl? Bye, Joycey. Cheryl says, we'll have to catch you on replay. These eyes are keeping me hopping. Oh, take care of your eyes, Cheryl. 
Jersey says, Ron, it's my honor to do this for Bicep. She's a sweet soul. What did you do? What did you do, Jersey? Malia, 100% ish in everything I do. I'm a nice sheesh. What did you do for Bicep? Mary, have a wonderful visit with Tanya. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. I will. Has anybody made washi tape? Of course, I make washi tape all the time. Uh, Rhonda says, Janet, that sounds so pretty. Right now, I'm making keepsake boxes out of plaster of Paris. Oh, how cool. I run a craft class at church. Oh, Rhonda, I didn't know that. That's cool. And I'm going to have the kids paint them for Mother and Father's Day. What a great idea, Rhonda. Jersey is going to go live at 10 o'clock today. And I think Becky and Violet are opening the Fibsville room in Fibsville. So you might check there. There's a lot going on. I need something in there just for show. Let's put that in there for now. I might leave it. I might cut that star out rather than leave it in the square. We'll see. So everybody have a great day. You'll hear more from Tanya and me. Oh, there. Um, uh, Aunt Beck left a, a link to the craft and chat. I'll be with you tomorrow morning, Becky. She says the room is open. All right. I got to get off and go get dressed and... <laughs> Drive my car loaded with, my car is loaded with mulch. My floor has scraps all over it. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Bye, everybody. Go gold or go home. Bye. <laughs> oh, I will. Thank you, Laura. Bye.